You're thinking of Chevy's. Chevy's is wait, which Chili's? Chili's is the one that does like burger. I guess they do nachos. I don't know. They Chili's do- is the one where you get the free Chili's, the free Chevy's, sombrero. No, that's Chevy's. See, oh, that's Chili's, Chevy's, <laughs> Applebee's. They all have the same food. Real quick, okay. So before we do on this episode, what are we talking about? No, this is important. <laughs> this I'm, this in is important. I'm in the pocket. I'm in the pocket. I'm in the pocket. Let's. Let's put this. Let's have a tournament of all of the chain restaurants. Olive Garden exists. wins. All Olive right. Garden. Olive Garden does not no. win. No. no, no. If you if you say Applebee's, I'm gonna. F- I will. The literally. menu cheesecake is so limited factory. at Olive Garden. The cheesecake factory. They have the unlimited cheesecake oh, factory. Fuck. It can't be that bad. Oh, 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 it can't be that bad. But wine sneaks up on you, dude. Wh- <laughs> a lot of sugar. Wine is a sneaky motherfucker. Yeah, I've I've gone on a lot of wine tastings, and and uh, every time I'm surprised at how fucked up I am by the time I get to the second place. It's <laughs> like that. And like sometimes they're really nice. They're like, this is from the back and uh, we don't usually serve this, but it's a, a Chalamet from the year 2012. Nice. Yeah. And then you have me just chowing down cheese like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're oh just this is really good. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What year was this? Oh, yeah. I don't care. How do you respond? How do you respond respectfully at a wine tasting what, to, when to you what? don't know Say much thank about you. wine? Uh, no, yeah. like <laughs> just. So, how's your day going? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here so I don't get fined. I'm just here so I don't get fined. I'm here because my girlfriend wants to be here, and she yeah. doesn't know shit about wine either. No, I went. It was me and my older brother. We would go all the time, and I just, I honestly, I told my brother the first time, I was like, "Look, I just want to get shit faced at the first place, and then I don't care where we go after that." Mm-hmm. So that's what, what our goal was. So I went in there one time. I came in there twice, nice. clothed differently. <laughs> really? You put on different clothes? Oh hell yeah! So my brother, me and my brother's plan was is that we we're gonna go in there, hang out an hour, wait until they change shifts. Parent, because I, I, we were there so many times, we knew that they changed shifts after like tw- I think it was like one p.m. They mm-hmm. would swap guys, and then I would I went out, and I don't know why I changed clothes if they changed shift, but just to really I, add to the roots. <laughs> I just wanted to get into it, and then I did that, and then I w- I'd go back inside and get another free tasting with him. I've only ever heard of that in cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> where you leave, change clothes, it come works. back for seconds. <laughs> it works in real life. <laughs> Especially if no one at this place knows who you are or is there the first time you came in. Or cares. Or cares. <laughs> really, yeah. They probably If they knew, they'd just be like, hey, look at this guy in new clothes. Yeah, yeah I served you just like a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're trying so hard. It's kind of... They're just like, as long as I Here, get take, paid still. Take the bottle. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Oh, maybe I got pity poured. Oh, pity port. Yeah, well, if, pity it, port. if it's an alliteration, then it has to be real. Yeah, I don't know if that's a valid rule, but hey, <laughs> sure, maybe. It's totally true. It's an Alec rule. <laughs> what is fucked up Jake like? Fucked uh-huh. up Jake. Uh, he tries to be a gymnastist. Gymnastic. A gymnast. Gymnast. Yeah. Gy- yeah. I'm trying to say the sport. <laughs> <laughs> Killing it. This is already off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. So what does that mean? You do cartwheels forever? Oh yeah, cartwheels. I try to uh, dismount uh, like stairs. You know, when you go, you're going down it, you're uh, sliding on them. I try to do a perfect dismount. Oh. Never we got worked. a set of stairs here. We're gonna do that later. <laughs> Wait, do, your stairs have a turn though, right? That's what makes it fun. <laughs> at the very end, I'm not asking you to like <laughs> dismount at the bottom. No, we're asking you to dismount from the top. Dismount from the top. Well, you know what? We'll see. We'll see. When you were a kid, did you grow up in a, a two-story home? Yes. So um, did you ever challenge yourself as you got older? Like, how many steps can I jump? Oh, yeah. The whole stair- On the way to dinner. It's easy. The whole, st- the whole stairwell. The question oh, is, you did the whole thing? Yeah. Sure. The question is, how much pain are you in afterwards? Because I didn't get up for a Good while. Good job, Jake. I believe... We've done that here in your staircase, and I got I fucked myself up on it. You've done that here <laughs> yes. on my staircase, yes, yes. and I, as a grown man <laughs> that knows my weight, was very upset and is very understanding of what gravity is. <laughs> Just like I'm cool off that, but if you want to do that, you don't know. Wait, how old were you guys when you, you said grown man? Now, now I'm. Curious. This was like just a couple of years ago, probably. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say yesterday. Yeah, not, not quite. No, no, ago. I've gotten okay. fat in the last four months. Thanks, Karen. But you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but your body weight it fluctuates, dude. So, like, honestly, 
having a strong found because I did this when I was a chubby kid, and it was like okay, yeah, I did when fuck you were up a kid. my when you were a kid. Yeah, when I was a kid, I don't do it anymore. What Melissa and I do now, or more oh. so me and she does, and she watches me do, is, is you use her as a surfboard and ride her down hey, the stairs. Fuck your but spine! No, 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 no. No, I just I sit down and I'm like, you want to see how many steps I could slide down? And it really hurts my ass. I have a video of that on my phone, and it does not look. Happy. Yeah. Do you guys do like uh, pillows or anything like that? Mm, no, I wouldn't cheat. I would just use my. I would use oh, the the meat dude. on these cheeks. He's you a human pillow. How, how f- <laughs> you don't have pillows on your butts though. Yeah, that's, that's what why I'm saying. it's so bad. That's exactly yeah. what I was saying. Oh, you should go friend side. Christian uh, does not have a butt. That's okay. Because <laughs> baby his girl, girlfriend. Guess who has a uh, front? You know what I'm saying? Guess who has a front? <laughs> oh my god. Hey. I'm dead. Oh, nice. Self serve. Yeah, self serve. <laughs> So did you, um, how many steps did you, did you were you able to clear? Uh, <laughs> Welcome to our podcast, How Many Steps Can You Jump? <laughs> where we ask people about the steps that they can jump. Christian here, uh, he's on this podcast because he jumps over all the stairs in Philadelphia, like yeah. Rocky. Um, wow. I fell down the stairs in uh, Chichen Itza in uh, Mexico. And then we got Jake here. Jake, tell us your stair story. Well, I went down one story of st- stairs. And, nice. uh, well... It hurt, and I tripped down the last one and almost broke my ankle. So, Jeez. Yeah, pretty sick. You ever accidentally miss a step and just like... <coughs> have a heart attack? Every day at work. Nice. Whoa. Every day. I'm, I'm... You should probably learn your lesson eventually. No, no. Well, sometimes the steps stink up on you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Every day they build this new like, step. <laughs> who built this new step? <laughs> the same people who built Hogwarts. That's they move. <laughs> they change around. You know, sometimes there's 12, now there's 13. I'm like, I wasn't expecting that extra step. I will say the older you no, get. Time out. No, I'm not going to let that go. <laughs> so every staircase you have to count, and if it's not the same number, you're like, I can't go any further. <laughs> I, fr- I got to stop there. This is too many. I go to the next stairwell and I count. <laughs> I'm going home. Never seen this dentist again. But when you get older, it gets <laughs> harder it gets to go upstairs. More difficult to just yeah maneuver around stairs. What's going not on? Literal, buddy? Not literally hey, around. Yeah, like, what's going on? I'm just tripping more. <laughs> You're, I used to trip a lot, but now I'm like tripping. Right now, bro. Yeah. You, you are tripping if you're not understanding stairs. I'm a lot of drinks do you, in. Do you fall going up the stairs? I When I was a kid in Las Vegas at one of the casinos, I fell go, uh, I fell down an up going escalator. It took oh, me a while. Was it, okay, now I have That's a theory. Is, did it ever end? I assume so. There Eventually, I'm here. I'm <laughs> still <laughs> there. Does it yeah, ever end? Yeah. A piece of my soul is still there. <laughs> it's piece yes. of, just slowly falling down. But it takes uh, a while. Uh, uh, yeah. But imagine like a, a, a chubby kid just falling down a little bit and it's just it's the saddest thing that you could ever see i'll tell or you the what, funniest well no I'll, yes. tell, I'll tell you what people falling downstairs is such a hard thing because when you see it happen you want to be like stop like don't like don't do that anymore <laughs> but stop, stop falling yeah, they don't have control over it because it falling downstairs and escalators are worse i've only ever seen a lady fall downstairs uh, and that is like a really brutal like Blah, 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 and you're just like, please it's crazy. don't, oh. dude. One time, <laughs> my <band> mom. Camp. <laughs> one time, a band camp flew up my ass. <laughs> um, <laughs> Whoa! Okay. No, my you mom actually went to band. Went to Jollibee. Big surprise. My mom oh, went to Jollibee, Jollibee and she uh, tried leaving, and there she didn't see the curb, and she like <laughs> fell. And she, a grown woman, just on the floor calling for my dad. Oh, no. <laughs> Carlo! <laughs> Carlo! And it's just like, Ma, you're not injured. You're just startled. And you fell. Can we talk about the time when there was an earthquake in Santa Rosa and she fell on the it ground? Was, yeah, there was an earthquake and she was at a casino. It was, um, I think it was Grayton, the Grayton Casino specifically. That is a great uh, casino. Thank you. She was she was trying <laughs> so to find the foul. car. <laughs> she was trying to find uh, her car in the parking lot, and there just happened to be an earthquake. And instead of her thinking immediately that there's an earthquake, she was like, "Oh, I'm dizzy." <laughs> so what she did? Oh, she just sat on the floor until the earthquake passed. Oh, that's great though. <laughs> That's so innocent. Is, That's so is cute. A, is a parking garage a safe place? It was the park. It was just an outside parking, parking lot. lot. Oh. The safest, the unless safest. there's a crack in the floor. I'm gonna sit down. <laughs> I take a nap right here. <laughs> that is oh, so sweet. Shit. Wow. Oh my Dude. god. <laughs> First thing you do in an earthquake. What's your What's your strategy, Jake? What, well, question is, where am I? 
Mm. Here, right now. Here, right now. San Francisco. Uh, <laughs> San <laughs> the most dangerous place. You're on a trolley. San Francisco, I just, I just give up. I'm like, I'm dead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. care where I'm at. Start looting. <laughs> Start, ooh, good one. Uh, I push everyone else down. Damn, dude. <laughs> Take advantage <laughs> of the weak. Yeah. And then go to a door frame. <laughs> no, what? that's not good. You're not supposed to do that. Not, oh, no, that's not. What were they teaching in school? It's, they yelled at me to go to the door frame every hey, time. Stuff changes, bro. Science gets better. You know what I mean? Damn, Things change. Fair, fair. Don't, where don't, are you supposed to go now? Under under a table. This table's not big us big enough no. for the five of us here. <laughs> so no. I, I keep my pushing everyone down then. But honestly, <laughs> the, yes. Uh, the the surviving an earthquake tactic is the same thing as like in the nineteen fifties when they're like, This is how you'll survive a nuclear blast. Just like curl up in a ball and don't <laughs> don't look. And and just don't like, be there. Yeah, yeah oh, okay. Yeah, I'll definitely do that, but I don't think it's gonna help. So No, not at all. Not what are you at gonna all? do? Uh, it's not like a hurricane where you can see it coming and prepare and build Structures and sand barriers and shit. Do they build structures while the hurricane is coming? <laughs> it's <laughs> over there. <laughs> like just, they build just around sure. it. I think they I I can't think escape those, now. I think they have those already pre-built. I don't think they're going at it. At the time. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're like sandbagging. Right. <laughs> we got these guys. <laughs> time to start that construction project on that 80 story building we wanted. You know what I'm grateful for California is is that I've never seen a tornado in real life. I wouldn't know what to do, <laughs> and dude. If I saw a hurricane anywhere near me. I think I would take the, the fetal position and just be like... They oh, know. let it get closer to you. Yeah, well, no, just, just lay down. I don't know. I wouldn't know. I do think, I do think we have means of, of transport. Of no. all the natural disasters, I wouldn't mind running headfirst into a tornado. <laughs> of all the Bye. natural disasters, besides... Like, well, yeah, if it's... Wait, I mean, wait. Besides, like, a tsunami or, a, you know, an earthquake or a volcanic eruption or hurricane, a tornado, whatever it is, if the tornado happens and I know I'm fucked because it's just, you know, already said, I'm running head first and just, like, enjoying the ride. Are you going to enjoy that ride, though? Man, I, <sighs> wait, let's think about it. Because if I had a surfboard, a tsunami would be pretty sick. I don't know. I, I can't surf at all. <laughs> I, I, can't can't surf hang all. I recently oh, tried no. wakeboarding, and it's a lot harder than you think. In fact, I had to go back to the gym because I realized how out of shape I was. <laughs> Wait, no, let's talk about this tornado thing. Let's break yeah. it down. So you're jumping in, you're, you're running headfirst into it. Yeah, you guys have seen Twister, right? Yeah, but like how long until you just knock the fuck out in a tornado? And it's it really fast. Doesn't matter, though, because it's the people who get knocked out and sucked up by tornadoes and then like hit the ground. But because they're knocked out, they don't tense up and they live. Oh, it's like the drunk driver thing. It's like uh, with drunk, drunk drivers. drivers. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. Okay. That's that's uh okay so be drunk if you're going to run ahead f- you must be drunk if you're heading f- yes yeah, so all the tornado watchers out there start getting shit faced yeah. before you go I don't think you need to tell them that I think they're already <laughs> already messed up they're the ones that being like I just stapled 14 inches of steel to my Toyota Corolla yeah and the f- earth's flat um and- <laughs> I think. <laughs> okay. Don't take a dig at us flat earthers, okay? It's not my fault you don't do your own research. Hey, hey, dude, I'm just saying, you know, if the earth was flat, you know, Aww. things. Things what? I don't know. Yeah, see, that's the thing, because it is, bro. No, I'm just kidding. Don't they, did they come out with like a piece of technology, quote unquote, where they can measure the curvature of the earth and they were saying, nah, it's like the earth is flat because this tool is saying that it just. You would see, you would be able to see the curve in the distance. Okay, you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. There was that Netflix documentary about flat earthers. Yeah, and their whole thing was like, we have an atomic laser scale that will measure exactly the levelness of the Earth. And they're like, the only problem is when they make these scales, they calibrate it to whatever nine point three to match the curvature of the Earth, so you can get a flat level. They do it. Sure enough, it matches up with nine point three, and they're like. This must be broken. Like, this, <laughs> this, thing, this thing doesn't work. And it's like, no, you guys lost. You guys didn't do it. It works. Oh, yeah. man. It fucking works. They even, did the th- they even did another test where like a dude like shines a flashlight. And then they're like, if the earth is curved, when he shines that flashlight, we won't be able to see it. And then they like look into the camera and they're like, <laughs> I can't. Can't see it. It's I like so the ridiculous. one where they talked about if the Earth was round and spinning, that we would all fly off of it. I'm like, well, you just discovered <laughs> gravity. <laughs> good job. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. Good. You just found out why we have gravity, and you're doing good. You're doing good, kid. Wait till you hear about physics. They're just like, <laughs> no. <laughs> YouTube rabbit holes are a damn thing. Oh, dude, they're the best. Have you guys seen Florida Man? No. Oh. That already sounds crazy because Florida. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a guy like uh, face painted like Joker. And I think that's all I need to go. I, that's all I need to say, right? And no, there's much on, more that you have. To... Which Joker? 
Jack Nicholson no- Joker. Mm. Oh, that's actually kind of crazier. It would be crazier if it was Jared Leto. Like every morning he wakes up and like does the tattoos on his face every time. And he so. puts he, damaged on his forehead. He does have actually, he does have a, a face tattoo. He has the, the teardrops. Florida man? Yeah. What? You got a teardrop tattoo? No. Okay. I'm going to break it down a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to break it down. Jake, level. this is you meeting me for the first time. Yes. This is not a birthmark. Um, I, and it's, I did not get in a it's fight. It's way cooler than it. The, the chemical burn is way cooler than anything else you could say. That's what I was thinking. So I have like a scar here, and it's okay. been some. It's a. I've been wanting a scar next to my eye ever since I've watched my first anime. And <laughs> as we all, as, as I, we all, I, I right? want one across the eyebrow. That's exactly yeah, what I'm yeah, saying, yeah, dude. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm saying. Sub Zero <laughs> has it. The Witcher has it. Scar from uh, the Lion King has it, but he's not a good example. I, think you I don't scar like face. him. Yeah, yeah, scar, scar face. Face has it. Is Scar face an anime now? <laughs> I <laughs> would watch the fuck. Out of that. I would do. <laughs> yeah, you actually I would do. <laughs> um, but I got it from my job. I got a chemical burn on my face, which is also kind of badass. Yeah, and what's crazy okay. is his job is he sucks men off at gas stations. <laughs> so the chemical burn was a really weird part of that. <laughs> oh, sperm's a chemical? I don't know. I didn't really think that whole joke <laughs> yeah, out. Shut the fuck up, dude. Oh, damn it. I should have thought of it better. He's a librarian. <laughs> <laughs> Someone threw a book Solid. at me. That had chemicals um, no, in it. he yeah. he makes he saves. Um, you know, you got hydrocolonic acid. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> hydrocolonic acid sounds legit. <laughs> colonic, which is a derivative of the colon. Yeah, so yeah. it's butt water. You got butt water on you. Yeah, sounds pretty acidic. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go to college, but um, it's sodium hydroxide. <laughs> I'll tell you that, which is not from the butt. So sodium hydroxide, that's like salt. Half water. Stop. No. Well, or salt sodium. Full water. Hydroxide. It's only one oxygen mo- molecule with a hydrogen model mo- molecule. Damn, this is way over my head. Actually, yeah, you're. I'm not wrong. Why are you doing my oceanography homework? Because this is way different. Out. Help me. Okay, before we get too deep into whatever the fuck we're talking about, let's introduce our guest. We're already 45 minutes in. We're already done with the podcast. We're We're done. I'm tired now. Let's welcome our guest. Good night. Ladies and gentlemen. um, Boys and girls. I'm Christian. That's Alejandro. We have our girlfriends, Melissa and Karen, in the room. It's up to you to guess whose is whose. Yes. uh, You should know the voices by now. But also, we have a special guest. An old friend of the podcast who also has his own podcast as well. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the couch, bum, bum, Jacob bum, bum. Terry, a.k.a. Jake Whoa. the Cool DM. Social security Bro. number 298482216. That's accurate. That is. Oh. Yeah. Address 632 Magnolia if, Drive. If someone's willing to pay my debt off, that would be legit. So if hey. you want it, yeah, that'd be, that'd be pretty sick. There you go. There You're you welcome. Go. Yeah, You're thanks. Welcome. Yeah, that'll, that'll definitely help out. I'm sure someone will help. Well, Jake, all bits aside, welcome, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Honored to be here, man. We've um, just a little bit of background. We <clears throat> followed each other's podcasts early on in the game, back yeah. in 2019, when both of us, uh, when all three of us created our podcast. And I think we started in July, and you guys started in July. September. Oh. Damn, the, wow. I think September 1st, I, 2019. I, he's good. <laughs> he's good. good. He's good. He's fucking good. You're good. Yeah. Well, because I signed up for your guys' newsletter and everything, and I was like, oh, this is quality. Well, shout out to their podcast, first of all. Baddie's oh, out there you. listening. Uh, he is the DM of a D&D podcast known as New Crits on the Block. Can you explain what those letters mean for people like me? Well, we'll let, we'll let Jake do it. They're, uh, it's Dungeons and Dragons. Mm. That's about it. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know, you don't know, you know? Yeah. Damn it, I hate that answer. <laughs> Which tell is, me that every time I go to a club. <laughs> it's like, and we've had this talk where Alondra we and play. I... What? We want to play D&D. Yeah. So I, bad. I, 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 I seriously want you guys on. I think you guys would have a blast with that. And I think I would I would love running it with people that I've done like uh, improvisation. Impro- yeah. Wow. No, that, you said no, that you word said right. That no, you, you said, said that, that better than me. Right. Yeah. yeah, you did it. You did it correct. Okay, good. <laughs> no, I, w- I really want to try. I'm interested. I think I would get. I'm honestly kind of scared that I would get too into it. That's the fucking beauty, of dude. It. Immerse yourself in that world. That's. W- I'll be honest. That's what's gonna happen. You're gonna wake up one day and you're gonna have 50 sets of dice and no money. Mm, I because vote there's no. so many different types. <laughs> I vote no. <laughs> Shut up, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it would be so much fun. Like, dude, we've did, we've been doing improv for so long, and that's really the. Because I've never done Dungeons and Dragons. No, but we did do that Choose Your Own Adventure book with Christian. 
or uh, with Otis. The fuck? Don't you were there. It was the three of us. Don't be a dick. <laughs> You're looking at me, though. <laughs> I'm not. Actually, my eyes have been closed the whole time. It's actually etiquette to say someone's name when they're in the room instead of saying he. It, well, you did that oh. Choose Your Own Adventure game with Christian and Otis. Yes, you're, you're right. <laughs> it was called the Steam Highwaymen. St- uh, okay, never heard of it. <laughs> it was very interesting. Yeah, no, I, it was a cowboy. Is well, it, it's a book, you said? It's a Choose Your Own Adventure book. Okay, so I've, you, I've seen those before. Yeah, so yeah. you start like reading and then you get like... You choose A, B, or C, and then A says, like, turn to page 32 when you turn to page 32. Okay. Yeah. Follow the story along sick. that way. Um, so the book itself is essentially the dungeon master, right? Yeah. And, and, but you explain your role for those of the listeners that don't understand D&D or tabletop RPGs in general, what your role as a dungeon master is in a D&D podcast. <sighs> Pretty much, I write the entire story. Damn. You can you can you can get pre made modules and stuff like that that someone else wrote. Mm-hmm. If you don't have the time or anything, or you're just lazy, which sometimes I am. Woof. Uh, but you write your own story. You essentially run your characters through them. You decide what you want them to roll in means of like if they want to do something like jump a wall or mm-hmm. hit somebody or cast a spell. You decide how what like what number they have to hit and then you essentially explain the whole story so you're essentially like the narrator of the story while they run through it yeah yeah and on top of that you also have to voice all the npcs which for those of you don't don't, that don't know what that is non-playable characters yes yeah which takes like a an incredible amount of uh improv skills to just be able to like hey okay i'm gonna be this dude random person in the road i'm gonna be every single bandit that you guys fight right yeah and it, it, it's it's a lot of fun you know because it's every every like kind of arc which like a season essentially yeah uh you know you get new characters you get to throw in so i get to kind of act out different uh people every time and i like to mm. play the most oddball people there yeah. are yeah uh, I always tend to go towards like hillbilly rednecks, though. I don't know if that's because I just know them well because of my family. <laughs> or... Mountain kind of people, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I don't know if that is just I'm just comfortable with them. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, no, it's it's a lot of it's a it's it's a blast to be a dungeon master. And honestly, I'd say when you first get into Dungeons and Dragons, I would suggest trying to be a player first. Yeah, it's a lot more welcoming. Oh, I'm not gonna just dip my toes in and be a DM. I'm not gonna do that, dude. You know, some I'll people... do it. <laughs> sure, I think maybe you could. It's it's if you're good at with voices and I want to be a bard. Actually, that's what I want to be. You'd be an actual. You'd be a you would be a good bard. See, I can talk to anybody about anything. Yeah. Sure, sure. I don't know what I said. Can you explain that to me? Uh, you're a musician essentially. Uh, and the, you're the, actually a good bard. The, <laughs> the the big like meme of bards is that they're like uh, fraternizers with anybody. They'll they'll fuck anything. Oh, um, <laughs> somewhere in between the two. Somewhere, yeah, yeah. Somewhere uh, between the two but... You'd be a level forty-seven drunkard. Is what you'd be. <laughs> That's when you learn kung fu at forty-seven. The drunken monk. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, the swinging shit. paw. <laughs> um, I that would be actually dope. Have you seen that Jackie Chan movie, uh, The Drunken Master? Mm-hmm. Dope. So fucking dope. That's what I was referring to too. I was I was just about to say Jackie Chan. Yeah, that's he's my, my man, man, dude. That is my guy. Yeah, he is. Well, uh, thanks, and I know what you mean by that. I, I said on a previous episode <laughs> for some context, so you don't feel alienated. Is that one I watch when I feel scared in the shower? When I felt scared <laughs> as a shower. Wait, 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 let me write this down. When I felt scared in the shower as a kid. <laughs> Everyone shut the fuck. When I felt scared in the shower as a kid. Because I would watch scary movies because the shower is a very scary place. I would have to imagine that Jackie Chan was in the shower with me, ready to kung fu some motherfucker. Oh, God. That's... Yes. Was he back to back with you? Was he yeah, just like standing he... there straight looking at you? Was he. I imagine if there were no monsters, he was chilling. He's like what? Just, reading a magazine he's on the toilet? holding you from behind. What? He's holding you from behind. No, he's not yeah. holding me from behind. I'd imagine he's like washing your back. No, he was not. <laughs> he I was help? washing my yeah. own back. He was just there. I don't know. I don't know what he was doing on the but downtime. What is he doing? Smoking I don't know. Like, I think he was in the stance. I think he, oh, was, he was in the stance. He was just ready to go. Always ready. Oh, ever. always. Re- now was he's, he in the? He, it sounds like he was in the shower with. He you. was in the tub. Yeah, he was not outside <laughs> of the shower. <laughs> he's, in the he's in the tub. tub. So was just he like laying down? Was while he clothed? Stand? Yeah, is he naked? Yeah, he's clothed. No, he's clothed. But he's also wet. Probably yeah. wet. I don't know. <laughs> Might as well be naked. I, I was know. not thinking of that. He was not actually there. I just had to 
Spark you a figment of my imagination. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> did he see your dick? No, here's the I thing. That's no. a bigger question. Did Jackie Chan ever look to take a peek at the goods? I saw an article where there was actually a huge rumor going around that Jackie Chan played in a like a cameo in a in a triple x movie yes in a porn before he was ever famous yeah. he was uh he had a cameo but yeah. was he doing anything he wasn't doing anything no he was just like there the bartender yeah he yeah. <laughs> was just kind of he he himself says he was never in it at all but there was actually like it was a like a super quick like i mean like five seconds just like jackie chan yeah i don't think that that's <laughs> that can't hinder your career Unless you're like doing the thing, which I also don't think should hinder your career. Stallone but... did the thing, and look at him now. Yeah, his yes. daughters are hot. <laughs> you know, that's what he did. <laughs> None of the move, just he did. He made hot daughters. <laughs> he made hot daughters. Okay, <laughs> he has nothing else to his name. <laughs> but I don't think that just hot daughters. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we got that. That should. Sylvester Stallone has hot daughters. <laughs> you wouldn't say that to his face. He'd kick the shit out of you. Oh, he knows. He know he knows that he kicked the shit out of you, or he knows he has hot daughters. <laughs> Both. <laughs> okay, that's an he punched situation. the shit out of me. <clears throat> I don't think it should hinder your career though of being of starring in anything. It depends what genre though. Come well, on, okay, let's, like, be, let's be real here. It depends on what kind of kink you're in. What do you? Th- well, okay, no. Um, let's let's take <laughs> no, your thoughts a little bit. Let's push that poop, poop play. play. Yeah. Okay, then that's go, different. That's, that's uh, not. Di- that's oh that's. <laughs> we went I'm to just, the extreme. We're just saying. Yeah, I'm just saying. You can't be. You're, you're saying if you're in any. I'm just saying. Maybe that's not. That's called scat play, by the way. Scat not play. There you go. Play. That sounds classy. <laughs> scat play. Poop play sounds funnier though. Poop play. Is, <laughs> I, some people call it poop play. Pee poop play, play is something I would ra- I would much rather watch than scat play. Yeah. Oh, no, scat yeah. play sounds like you're about to <laughs> dive into some music, into but, some but, jazz but, music. <laughs> <laughs> that was when like Louis Armstrong did porn, right? <laughs> just like, whoa! <laughs> As he's fucking someone. That's... <laughs> Man. Okay. I didn't know this was on Billie Holiday's album. Let's take Cardi B's uh, profession. Her... I like Cardi A. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me let you just sit in that joke for a little bit. Oh, that was a good one. Actually, that was a good I'm sorry. I've never heard that one, so that's good. Thank you. Thank you. Um... <laughs> Well, yeah, she was a stripper before, right? Well, I mean, obviously, yeah, right? Yeah. You well, said honestly what do you mean, or obviously? Obviously. Well, I mean, like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. And so, do you think that. But I she feel plays like... towards that, though. That's different. Yeah, she does the lovely. She, leans, she he, into he, he leans into that swerve. Okay, yeah, but Jackie I... Chan doesn't. He does, like, family friendly. Like, if you saw Jackie Chan doing some hardcore porn, like if and the... then he was like, oh, I'm family friendly, you're going to be like, well. Like if the, for the for the trailer for the tuxedo and it was like Jackie Chan from that really hardcore porn. <laughs> yeah. Like that's not what he's doing. Yeah, but Cardi B is a hundred percent playing towards that like oh, the sexualization right. of herself. She has a song called Waffles and Pizza. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I would listen to that because I'm a hungry um, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm not. That does sound um, good. You're thinking of Rihanna's fans, the um, uh, Rude Boys. Rude Boys. Is that what they're actually called? No, yes, no, I believe so. I think they are called Rude Boys. No. Rude Boy is a song. Thank yeah. you. If you're going to talk, talk in the mic. <laughs> Rude Boy is a song. Okay, well, Jake, thanks for coming, dude. Uh, to Thank get you. back to it. Man, we've been uh, we've been Instagram friends for a long time. Two years, man. Two years. And, like, what have you learned yeah no like what have you like what are the, some of the best things that you've learned from like being a part of a podcast and like getting your uh, dipping your toes in that community oh, man that's a tough question um i don't know just i guess it's just like all the the friendliness i thought there was gonna be like a huge competition inside of like yeah. the podcasting room i thought everyone's gonna be like cutthroat and like oh your podcast sucks dick no one really liked no, that. No, no, everyone's hella fucking nice. Everyone's like, "Oh, dude, your podcast is great." Like, even, and I hate to say this, even when like I listen to like a really shitty podcast, I'm still like, "Oh man, like you guys." Like, I try to find something to compliment. Yeah, not their audio quality though. 100 percent not their. Like, That's the hard <laughs> part to like dude, really achieve at first. I'm sure it's it's it was rough. And I like, like honestly, if we didn't have Matt, I don't think we would have ever had good audio quality. Yeah, because I think it would have been to me, and I would have been like, eh, I mean, mm-hmm. it's good, and it's. I mean, obviously, what's, like, the most important at the core of a podcast is its content, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. And 100%. I think it's the costumes. <laughs> I, go ahead, please. <laughs> Next time you say a joke, be able to back it up, <laughs> fool. Anyway, <laughs> with that, 
I think that Alejandro and I did it a different way. I think we were, uh, I was like, hey, let's fucking, let's get these nice mics. And, because we have old pictures of us both sitting around a, just a single mic. Yeah. And we were like, this is our first episode. And do you guys now look back at what you've created and just like, shit, like we, we've, we've gone through a journey. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, it's. I think it's mainly on the uh, like role playing and like the acting portion of it, because mm-hmm. like when he first started, it was my brother's first time we were playing Dungeons and Dragons, mm-hmm. uh-huh. uh, and I mean honestly, I think it was most of us. I think it was just me, Ben, and Matt. Mm-hmm. So out of what six people, it was three that had like any kind of experience with it before. Wow. So like, they it was a lot of like them trying to find their like comfort with like just being in the moment and like pretending to be their character and like making jokes or whatever, but like being inside the story rather than like being an onlooker that's playing a character. Yeah. And like, I think that's pretty, that's pretty, what's the word for it? Pretty. That's pretty, pretty, (laughs) pretty of you guys. That's no, no, no. That's like, that's very brave to like be able to like, all right, even though half of us have not done this thing that we're about to do a podcast on. Like, let's do it. Because when we were building ours, like, we've... Something that was... We tried a lot of different ways to make it plug and play. Yeah. But, like, we've definitely settled on the idea of, like, obviously, we both love movies. Yeah. And we have we both have, like, a comedic chemistry going yeah. on. Let's do it. But to, like, really just uh, take the leap of faith and, yeah. like, okay, we'll see what it turns into. I mean, they, they had played a few sessions. So, like, they had played the game, but not, mm. like, as far as, like, deep diving into, like... Dungeon of Dragons as far as like role playing as your character and stuff like that. A lot of it was like, oh, my character does this. And instead of like being the character and like, oh, I go and do this. And mm. I guess it's like the difference between like third person and first person. Yeah. Um, was that the original idea for the podcast of like bringing newcomers into a No. Game? So we were we were sitting there playing Dungeon of Dragons one day and we're like, man, we're we're, we're like, uh, we're hella funny. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest fuck yeah <laughs> and so my brother put his iphone on the table and we recorded just one of our random sessions and then we listened back to it and we're like yeah dude something we could, here we could do a podcast bro and mm-hmm. then we did it and uh at first it was super difficult i mean uh i didn't know how to write for a pot like cause it's really weird like framing because like, if you just go and play like a home game for dungeon of dragons just like with some friends it's a completely different vibe because you get like four hours and you mm. can just sit there and just do nothing like, yeah. and everyone's fine with that a podcast. You have to stay entertaining. So I have to like write out, I, I have to have like a, essentially like a TV episode. Man. Like I need to have, you know, a climax. I have to have a cliffhanger. So like, if you listen to our first few episodes, like I, I had no, I was just like, uh, and we end the episode now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know we do where to end it. We'll pick back up tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like an old timey <laughs> newscaster. Yeah, I, I had no idea how to like write, essentially like storyboard for an episode. And like now, as I'm getting farther and further, now I have actually have like cliffhangers where like, oh, I have fans like, oh yeah, I can't wait to see next episode. I'm like, ah, oh, that's awesome. Got another, got another one. Got another sucker. Yeah. Hope they give me money. <laughs> sucker born every day. I think that story of what, how you guys just put a phone down and recorded it is the origin story of a lot of podcasts. But like we, I don't know. I don't know a lot of people personally that have done that and have kept with it for this long. Yeah, honestly, dude. The after the first year, I wanted. I was like pretty close to quitting. Mm. And it was it wasn't like a like I didn't enjoy it or anything like that. It was like just burnout because I was doing all of like our marketing and like networking with other po- like other people to try to like just push our brand out. Yeah. And it was like I was talking to f- like it was like just like a hundred people a day. And I'm like, I don't even care about you, but I do, <laughs> but I do care yeah. about them because like oh you you know you invest your time into me, I want to invest my time into you. Sure. But it got it like I just got to get started getting so burnt out on it of like. Especially because I'm a very much of a loner, mm-hmm. and like I try to like limit my social time to like a certain amount because mm-hmm. I I just get burnt out with it. So I want to make sure I save that time for people that I am like invested in and care about. And it's it's weirdly kind of flipped since that year ago. Now I invest way more time into like the fans than I do like a lot of my own friends and mm-hmm. family. <laughs> well, I I know, and I get that. That's you've. 
because this is a product that you've helped create. Yeah. And for listeners that when they devote that time to listen to your stuff, there is that innate level of gratitude that you have. And like you put that in. It's how do you explain it? Like the listeners that and I've talked about this with Alejandro before. Sure. But like when it's not friends or family that listen and it's just straight up strangers that have no obligation to tune into an hour a week to listen to your stuff. Like there is something that you want to give them. There is like conversation and there's like, hey, I want you to know, especially through a a screen or like through like uh, Instagram. Yeah. I want you to know that I appreciate you. Dude, it's and that takes time. It's and it's hard to like explain that to like tell that to the fans. Like you're like you don't like they I like you can say it, but sometimes I feel like man, like you don't understand. Like without you guys, this would literally be like nothing. It would just be like me just screaming out to just the internet, which like so many other people do. Yeah, just like posting with like that one like. And you're like man, got did it, it. <laughs> did it, got it, got it. But there's so much weight, like especially having been podcasts that have survived through quarantine like the amount of feedback we've gotten through such a dark depressing time for just getting together once a week and shooting the shit once a week and not knowing like who it reaches but like all of that is made worth it once we get compliments of saying you guys are so funny you guys have helped me uh, you guys help me get through these tough times or like these drives to work or like, you know, through these times where I'm not working because I was laid off during the quarantine. Stuff like that makes podcasting all the more worth it. Like oh, Melissa over here sees so me suffer burnout. Like uh, she's seen me suffer multiple times throughout the these past two years. And there are times obviously like we're all, we're all questioning like why am i doing this i'm exhausted yeah but then like alejandro <laughs> and i we find like the reward in it oh dude those, those compliments like especially when they hit like at that time when you're really mm. feeling that burnout i i was talking to one of our friends that like he was going through a rough time he's like oh man you guys like the the laughs and all that stuff it really brought me through i'm like man i'm having a rough time thank you so much like yeah. that like just those and I think that's what, like when you when you tell people like leave a comment and like leave a like it means so much more than just like the oh hey good job kind of thing it's like someone's acknowledging like how much effort you put into the work yeah. that really just it's it's a kind of instant gratification I want to have every single day but it's not really instant because you know you've put a lot of work into it <laughs> in hours and hours but like yeah, yeah. it feels like the instant because you put it out and then like you know that day later you see those posts so it kind of feels like that more like that instant gratification where you know sometimes you're like in my work, in my line of work and stuff like that, like no one's saying like, hey, hey good job wiring those wires, Ooh. bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, good those, job, dude. No one gives a shit. They're like, those hey, wires. They're like, go faster. Do, do better. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, uh, no, that's a good point. Because like at, I think everyone's day job, it's, you don't really, I think we all suffer to a certain degree of not feeling that our hard work is acknowledged. Yeah. But with something in terms of entertainment, and I think that we're all, as podcasters, and I don't know if this vibes with you, but this vibes with us, like especially trying to, uh, tr- trying to survive in the realm of comedy. We definitely have suffered the lack of validation of in one form or, or another. Like mine is like my my brother was valedictorian, and he was obviously adored for in an Asian household for being very smart. And so my way to get the attention because I couldn't compete with him academically. Like, yeah. Let me just do this. Let me do a, a, a shtick for you. And like, yeah. <laughs> let me laugh. do a little dance. <laughs> yeah. And that's what this is, right? Yeah. No, the hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, I totally agree with that. It's definitely a way to like feel gratified and just feel like good about yourself, I guess. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, 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 when I first put it, I was like, oh, you know, I don't care if I don't care if anyone says it's bad. I don't care if anyone says it's good. Like, I'm just doing this because it's fun. Yeah. And then, like, as it went by, by, like, we haven't had a lot of, like, negative stuff. But I've had have, like, some people say it. And I'm like, you know, kind of just kind of fuck you, you know? The you haters can- are bound to come. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, bro, you just... Like, why do you got to waste your time, dude? Mm-hmm. I don't get it. I don't get it. Because like, they're, they're not making anything. And they're true, jealous that true. we are. 
Yeah, we've all, we've had only like very few haters, and like Alejandro's always like handled that. <laughs> I can see that. Like, I don't know if have you been able to when you direct message ICBTB podcast on IG? Can you tell who's who based off the text? Um, I honestly, I I always thought it was Christian, so I don't know if there's was there a time <laughs> where every now and then one hundred percent you can tell and okay. One, Hundred percent. I think I, I think I was old, well. I was kind of talking to Christian on his personal profile a lot more yes. sure. than ICBTB. But I mean, I get if I went back and looked through messages, maybe. Mm-hmm. But most of the time, I'm I'm kind of just rapid firing them. That makes sense. I like to try to sneak in sometimes and pretend to be Christian. That's that's when I hate it. I want I want <laughs> I want full transparency, especially like if it's just like something super out of pocket. Well, and you you say y'all. I do say y'all. You I say, say y'all, y'all all the time. All the time, yeah. I've adopted and you're that. always so appreciative and nice. And, you are. And so caring about everything. <laughs> because this is what it is. So what does that make me? <laughs> lack of punctuation. It doesn't, doesn't mean that. I've said this before, but when you message, it just sounds like, thanks a lot. <laughs> but when you're I say a, it's like. a man a few words. I just think those words are the same exact words you use. No, mine is thanks a lot. <laughs> with, a, with a happy face. With a happy face. It's just. Oh. God, sorry. I'm okay. <laughs> to, <laughs> that got me good. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Well, especially like Karen's, like I've, before they even dated, uh, I've, I've what? interacted with Karen oh. on social <laughs> media. And in my mind, like you've said before, there is a level of effort that it takes for a listener to reach out to the podcast and give honest feedback or just like say, hey, what you're doing is great. Yeah. And so I'm fucking hyped when I'm, texting at the keyboard of my phone and oh, so dude. that there's a lot of punctuation that comes behind that <laughs> well and i <laughs> know that periods. you work really hard on the podcast and the edits and everything you, and that's you. why baby you work hard too hey don't take don't take a, don't take this a compliment as a slander <laughs> the, <laughs> the two don't come hand in hand okay i don't understand <laughs> because, the on the face. <laughs> well and like the other day i texted you i was like oh yeah like your drops of like the movie thank you screens so like that was so cool that you did that and then alec we were watching a podcast today your podcast today and alex is like did he just drop a the cover of the movie into there. I'm like, yeah, he's been doing that, and it's really cool. Try, thank you. And you know what that's been doing for my edits? I'm double downing on it. I'm just yeah. like, okay, someone notices it. And yeah, but you didn't put a picture of Maddie when we were talking. And Alex was I talking know, about I had, Maddie, and I was like, you should have put a picture of my dog. I should have found a picture. <laughs> I know. It's just I didn't have one on my gallery. Right, I know so I many. I should have screenshot well, yeah, one. Alex has so many. Next time, I'll do it, and you know, Maddie will come up on the conversation right now. Okay, let's, we'll put up a picture this of Maddie. Is Maddie. Right this, this is Maddie. This is Maddie. Hi. Uh, Say hi, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, another reason why I'm excited to have you here, Jake, is that we're going to do improv with him later on. It's going to be an and, interesting show. And you bit. knew you were going to do it with uh, us. Yeah, I know. I, I, I still got to be a little nervous about it. No. Uh, dude, I was, I, you can ask Zoe this 100%. I was leaving the house. I'm like, I'm not going to lie. A little nervous. <laughs> Little nervous. Well, it's the first time meeting somebody, you know, I'm, I'm a personal person, but like, still, first time meetings are always like, I'm, I gotta, I gotta look good in front of them. <laughs> oh God, I can't look stupid. Oh, Is I that mean, your voice? <laughs> yeah, that's my voice. That's my real voice. <laughs> oh, I can't look stupid. I'm gonna, I'm kind of nervous, but I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm gonna, what? I'm gonna be real fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, and um, I, I think nerves are always healthy. Like I'm always nervous. <laughs> For this podcast. It'd be weird if you weren't nervous about things. It just means you don't care. Yeah, you just would be too chill about it. Yeah. Can't deal with too chill people. Oh, I don't get too nervous about the podcast, but when we did our open mic, I was dying. Yeah, oh. I heard about that. Was we, that how, did, so did you guys do another one, or was that just the first one? Christian went last night. I, yeah, I went, uh, what's today, Saturday? I went on Thursday, okay. and that was dope. I was hoping that you'd come with me to ease my nerves a little bit, because it's always nice to go with someone that's going to do it with you. I mm. bet. Yeah, but Makes we sense. did it, yeah, we did it a few weeks ago, and it was an interesting time. I 100% would never get in front of a live audience. Couldn't do it. In general? Ah, oh, dude, it would. Uh, mm-mm. Public nope. speaking is the biggest fear in America. Yeah, and then see, I don't, I don't mind public speaking. Doing our podcast in front of people, I would feel like I would just be doing everything wrong. I'm like, you know what? Let's just not. Let's mm. just tie it up. Tie, tie it new. No. <laughs> what? No, don't. And I know eventually, if like if it does like blow up or whatever, we're mm-hmm. gonna have to do like a live show. Yeah, and I'm 100 percent never gonna turn off those. Uh, 
I'm going to have those lights beaming on them or not. I'm just going to have every light off and like a lot of lights in my face so I can't see anybody. Oh, you don't want to see the audience. I don't want to see a bunch of people judging me. <laughs> I'm good. So, which is why podcasting is like it's judge me on your own time. Perfect. And like even <laughs> yeah. that's your job now, baby. Yeah. Judge me when I'm not looking because <laughs> I can't see you. So it's great. Or like even Twitch streaming because I did a little bit of that for a second. Yeah, you were so like. How was that for you? You know, it was actually hella fun because uh-huh. it was like it was almost like podcasting, but you had people comment real time, mm. and if you didn't mm-hmm. like someone, you could just kick them out. Where, hey, did you get some Twitch just, hecklers? Just like scammers. Hecklers. <laughs> he likes to combine words. <laughs> I, I could tell that was scammers. What, questionable. What are they putting in the chat for them? What are they trying to scam you? Oh, send me a hundred bucks. I'll send you a thousand. Is that a sometimes? No, mostly like just like, hey, you know, it'd be a really good time go and watch this other stream. Like, well, I mean, probably. Oh, that's <laughs> <fun>. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and then sometimes because I'm, you know. It's me. I'm like, well, fucking, I got to see who this is now. And I click on it and I'm like, you know what? Nope. Mm-hmm. This is a cool stream. <laughs> this is a, this this is a, a true great stream. stream. You guys should, let's actually, one time I watched someone else's stream on my stream. <laughs> you did? <laughs> I did. <laughs> so meta. <laughs> I was like, you know what? The best way to do, I'm going to steal someone else's content. <laughs> we should totally do a podcast where we just sit here and listen to another podcast. <laughs> All right, that was really good. And that was, uh, I enjoyed that. That was very nice. informative. Mark Marin, that one. Mm. <laughs> a very popular podcast at that. Listen to Joe Rogan. So you can get a lot of hits off that. Mm. Wow. ICBTB came out with a four hour episode. <laughs> it's featuring Joe Rogan and Dr. Sanjay Gupta. Oh, definitely tuning into this one. It's crazy, actually. A lot of YouTubers and stuff do that. A lot of Twitch streamers, too. Reaction videos. What yeah. are your thoughts on reaction videos? <laughs> and what are your thoughts about the death in Malaysia? <laughs> the death of. Also, our politics. <laughs> our politics, our politics, politics, politics with enough. China? <laughs> our politics is what we say to make a smart talk. <laughs> Oh shit! Anyway, yeah, no. Your thoughts on reaction videos? Thoughts on re- uh, if I bet you can go back to the politics question. <laughs> Honestly, though, your thoughts on politics? I listen to a lot of NPR now. <laughs> That's a shame. Yeah, <laughs> it's something to do while I drive. Uh, reaction videos. Um, I don't know. I don't really care about them. It depends on what they're reacting to, I guess. Mm-hmm. If if you're just like reacting to someone else's like regular content like hey this guy's playing a video game let's react to him like eh, it's kind of bullshit but if you're reacting to someone's like music or like an art or something like that yeah like two girls one cup no uh, we're not talking about that right now are you but, embarrassed at that reaction video? no i'm not embarrassed about that reaction but Wait, I'll you guys you- actually put that out i have not yeah, yeah. We, no we did oh we've do we've done a few reaction videos and weirdly enough it's like the it's the thing that gets a lot of views it's, always always do. Do. Well, it's the easiest thing to edit though <laughs> they're the things that get because it's always something that's like, hey, you want to see us talk about something else that's super cool? You know this thing you already know? <laughs> Look at us who you don't know. Look at the thing you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, that's what I did with a bunch of music. I was like, yeah, I want to know more about this music. Let me watch a bunch of reaction about people that don't know anything about music. I was fascinated <laughs> by the reaction videos on Pornhub. <laughs> There's they pe- have there's, reaction videos yeah, on... Yeah, there's like porn stars who like watch other pornos and then they just yeah. kind of, they get going. Now, do they critique it or are they... They're pretty complimentive. Yeah. Okay, okay. No, I'm curious. You know, like, they like to build each other up. Okay, that's good. It's a it's a healthy and culture. Then, and then you know the watchers turn, start you know doing their own thing. Wait, do the people reacting? Do they start doing stuff yeah. while they're watching? Oh, well, there's a reason. You know, it's they're watching it's, porn. Yeah, it's <laughs> if you watch porn and didn't do something, that's way creepier than watching porn. Is it? No, I think if you could break down analytically, <laughs> it's and, weird. It's weird. Analytically. <laughs> 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 You know, if you could like just say like, okay, um, I can tell that there was. Is a that your next podcast? <laughs> reacting to bad <laughs> porn videos. It can't be that porn. <laughs> we'll work on it. ICBTP. Yeah, we're, we're, ICBTP. You might need to workshop that name a little bit. It can be that porn. <laughs> what's the uh, What's the end game? Um, for the podcast. Death. For the podcast. <laughs> Hopefully, quick and fast in my sleep. Uh, I don't know. Uh, be famous, I guess. Right? That would be nice, right? Uh, that's, I guess that's the end game for every. Uh, I yeah. don't know. Have a good time, really. Yeah, and it seems like you guys are having a good time. You're doing it with a bunch of friends and like siblings, and so it's keeping you guys <laughs> close together. Uh, yeah, no, it's 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 fun. It's uh, 
I don't know. Yeah, I, I never. I, I try not to think about like the future too much about with the podcast. Yeah, because mm. well, you know, it, you don't know if like, oh, what if someone leaves or something like that. Like explodes. It, the whole world explodes, or the <laughs> podcast just explodes. <laughs> I don't. My website just goes bye bye. I don't we know. We get a solar flare and all of our electronics go out of power. That's, true. Yeah, that's actually that's that's, yeah, that's a true. Totally thing. A thing. Baddies, thanks for tuning into the show. Uh, this episode is brought to you by Wild Heart Stones. Mm -hmm. um, if you need some fossils, gems, and sage, we have a website for you. That's right, my friend Kyle. She's promised to bring us the best self-collected, self-selected, and treasured gems to you, uh, all at very reasonable prices on her website, WildHeartStones.com. Uh, Kyle and her father have been digging up these rocks all her life. Her dad was a geology professor back in the day, and they used to go to rock shows. They pretty much know everything that rock. <laughs> nice. Um, you guys could save 15% on all of your purchases. Just use promo code ICBTB at checkout. And a link to the website will be down in the description. Or you could find it on our website at ICBTB.com. Thank you guys so much. Wildheartstones.com. Yeah, check Thank them out. Thank you, Kyle. Enjoy the show. Like I said before, I, I get so bipolar with this thing. I'm just like, man... Like I, I want it. To, like, and what am I doing this for, right? So yeah, that's always the question. That's and it's. <laughs> what about love? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I. Every time I try to sit down and like, what, what, where do I want to end with this thing? And it's always kind of just like I, like obviously you want to make money, right? Yeah. You want to make it like a if like you make it a living, that would be amazing. Like, oh yeah, dude. Like, mm -hmm. I do what I like and I make money on it. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't want to put that kind of pressure on me to also be like, that's my expectation of it. Cause I know like mm. there's a lot of even like famous podcasters that have flopped on podcasts and had to do another one. So it's, I'm not trying to put all of my eggs in one basket, essentially. Like I'm, yeah. if it, if it keeps going great and I would love to, if for it to never end and just to keep having, you know, new Chris on the block be a thing until I die. Woof. But, uh, yeah, that's a long time. Or really short. Or today, <laughs> sir. <laughs> oh, please. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I think me and Christian, we signed a lifelong deal in blood to Satan, so we have to do this for the next 3,000 years. I didn't do it, and I'm not going to live that long. <laughs> <laughs> we got immortality in exchange. <laughs> That's pretty chill. Would you guys actually? <laughs> would you guys the actually, best response <laughs> to anyone hearing about immortality is that that's pretty chill. No, would you guys actually do immortal like immortality? Would you actually like? Yeah. Yeah. Nah. nah. See, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, ha like half and half. Like, yeah, that would be super cool. Be like, I, but uh, like, it would only be cool if I could like become like a, not a superhero, but become like part of like the elite. Because if I was just like the oh. average, if I'm just a part of the average, poor person. Yeah, yeah, dude, that would fucking suck. If you're homeless from the dark <laughs> ages until now, you'd be like, this, uh, everything sucks. <laughs> yeah, dude, like, I would really just hope, like, you know, you just end it, but you can't because you're immortal. That would really just blow. Mm -hmm. So Your if, life just sucks forever. Yeah. That would suck. <laughs> Here's what I would do if I was immortal. What? I would get to become an astronaut and then on my first space mission, go on a spacewalk and then just never come back. That'd be so boring. But because I could live forever, I'll just be floating <laughs> through space and just like... You're going to get so lonely. Dude, I mean, here's the thing, though. <laughs> if there are aliens or shit like that, oh, like... Scoop you right up. Bro, just... And then become a part of their society. Yeah. And now I'm the immortal human on Jacksonar, and I'm making love to like these tentacle alien things. Obviously, has to have tentacles. Can't be an alien without tentacles. What's a tentacle going to do to your penis, man? I'm <laughs> no, sorry. my penis doesn't go in the tentacle. No, that's their arms. That's sir. their arms. Yeah, he's not fucking their arms. You I don't know shit about <laughs> aliens and their body parts. Do you man? fuck arms? Is I, that no, me? dude. I fuck Vaginas, I fuck man. Elbow. You got a fucking elbow, bro. Vaginas. <laughs> My dude, that does kind of sound like you maybe have never had sex with a vagina <laughs> just because of the. Can you imagine? Do it with vaginas? <laughs> yeah, the word itself. Yeah, it's just it shows that you probably never had sex before. <laughs> I'm not afraid of the word. I think people shouldn't be afraid to say the word vagina. Vagina. Vagine. I want to live long enough though oh. to be able to see society interact with the extraterrestrial. You're already there, dude. Publicly, <laughs> 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 let's, let's talk about already. it. Apparently, wow. there's a bunch of UFO sightings. Don't know if they're real. Haven't really looked into it. Don't really care too much. But you know, I, you really don't care that much. I care a little bit. They're called UAPs now. What is that? Unidentified aerial phenomena. 
Oh, that's too many syllables. <laughs> that's long. Let's that's keep all, it. Yeah, I, I already know UFO. Yeah, I'm fine with UFO. <laughs> it's UAP now, bros. That's UAP? like when they switch the uh, STD to even, STI. Yeah, it doesn't even sound cool. It just sounds, it kind of sounds lame. Yeah. It sounds I like don't make the rules, guys. <laughs> the people down at MUFON do. <laughs> do you think they exist, aliens? 100%. Right, they have. They, they, it would be okay. I guess one hundred percent is a little. That's very. <laughs> it's, a, yes. it's a little. It's I don't a little know anything. One hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would be shocked if there isn't some alien life form out there in the universe. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just it's it literally never stops expanding. How are you gonna tell you that we're the only like phenomenon that got like? Li I mean, like, look, there's dolphins. How about they're intelligent? How yeah. can there not be life form out else? Elsewhere, like we're not the only. If if humans were the only people on planet Earth, and like that was it, then I'd be like, oh yeah, there's no such thing. Do you there think can't be. that there's another Earth-like planet that has human that has humanoids? Because it's easy to say like algae, sure, or something plant-like grows on the cracks of the surface of Mars, for sure, sure. But like for intelligent life forms that are humanoids like us. So mm. a, a bipedal being, essentially. Sure, yeah. But instead of like human descendants of apes, they're like descendants of dolphins? Do yeah. Let's say that. But they eventually, through evolution, have developed two arms, two legs, and are humanoid, but have, instead of ape-like features like we do. They got like a long mouth. and they go, <laughs> Yeah, and they're just incredible swimmers. So let's say that. I mean, yeah. I, I the, the, what do you say to that? <laughs> yeah, what do you say? I don't know what you say to that. You know the answers to this, right? <laughs> well, Help me, me. Me and 35 other researchers, <laughs> we've been going to town on this, and we can tell you there are dolphin people out there. Hey. Honestly, if the humans weren't here, the dolphins would be in charge. Is that you, what you think? Is that what, like, honestly? Because, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Silverback gorillas. They would be definitely in charge of the ocean. Yeah. Aren't they? Mm, sharks? No. Sharks are like grandfathered in. They don't really want to be here anymore. They're just still. <laughs> well, sharks they've they've existed. They're older than since trees. Prehistor yeah, prehistorically. Yeah. So that's that's pretty incredible to me. And I I just so if not dolphins, what would octopus? No, I'm still, I'm talking about land. Oh. Yeah, we're talking about land. We're talking about land here, not yeah. ocean life. Because that's already. I mean, we we don't really like own the ocean life. We just kill everything in it. If we're lucky. Man, that is true. <laughs> if we're doing it right, we are. <laughs> that is true. We don't really fuck around in the water. We're like, we'll do some research and stuff, but we don't like live there. Well, because the, uh, the ocean is so vast and so scary, and the fact that we don't know a lot about it altogether. We're still finding animals coming up from there. I'm just, I'm, I'm just waiting until we find Atlantis, bro. Just saying. That'd... Does it <laughs> exist? It's in Georgia. Atlanta. No, Atlantis, Georgia. <laughs> They're just Everyone's just been saying it wrong. <laughs> do you think Atlantis ex actually exists? Uh, yeah, probably. There was probably a city back in the ancient times that got washed away in a tsunami. But yeah, I don't know if they had nuclear technology in the year 300 AD. Mm -hmm. But yeah, whatever. I was telling everyone else in here that recently we had gone to the Legion of Honor Museum nice. in San Francisco for my father's birthday yesterday. Okay. And the fact that we saw, it was just mind-blowing to see some ancient artifacts from, mm -hmm. from 9th century BC, right? That is crazy, and the preservation of these artifacts, and that, that you could see that. But to think that people existed like three thousand years ago, made these vases, made giant buildings, made Dude. giant buildings, yes, <laughs> it's, it's that crazy. are still there, mm -hmm. yeah, like incredible. And to be looking at this from two feet away is just, and like trying to think back and put myself in the shoes of the individual that had crafted this. I'd be dead so fast, dude. Well, back in the day. If you put me now, back then. Pfft. You don't think you have hunter-gatherer uh, skill set? No. 100%. I'd be like, where the fuck's the warm shower, bro? <laughs> you tell me I have to shit in the wild while animals are out there? I no. can do that one. You can shit. You like if a, you know there's a tiger like within the 100-yard radius of you. It's you're called gonna, certain you, dominance. <laughs> <laughs> you, Watch me, tiger. Die <laughs> fast. You Okay, of the three of us, who's living the longest in the wild? I'm dying first, I think. I think I would just because I would not be afraid to take a stuff away from other humans. Oh, that's a good point. You would die first to... because you wouldn't want to take no, stuff I would, away? No, I would live longer because I wouldn't be afraid to attack a human for I what I want. I'm going gonna, gonna to th throw myself in there. I know how to build a house. I'm dead first. Not, now, may, now, I don't know how to construct two Wait. by fours, <laughs> so that might be an issue. Lincoln Logs, bro. <laughs> 
hopefully they're around. Wait. Between the two of us, we could probably live for a couple of years. Yeah, I'll at least. Of you guys? Yeah, yeah. I for like sure. Shit, and I'd just though. be holding you guys I'm back. the idea guy. You're, you're the entertainment, Christian. You're the bard. <laughs> da, na, 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 na. You guys been bored for the past three months? I know how to do a little jig. <laughs> um, um, I like to think that no matter what time period we would be sent back to, yeah. Um, you can always think about how it was done in the past, right? So one thing that I always think about is really crazy is where we are in our timeline, looking back at Cleopatra in Egypt, mm-hmm. is the same amount of time that Cleopatra had looking back at the creation of the pyramids. Mm-hmm. So she looked at the pyramids and was like, ah, we don't even know how the fuck they made those things. Yeah, man. It's always going to be, we're always going to I didn't even think back. about that. That's yeah. hella right. Yeah. Wow. Always repeats itself. Do you actually know how to build a house? Yeah, I've built a, I built one full building. To well, no, that, this is incredible. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I built a it's a garage and then a house on top of the garage. Nice. Yeah. Whoa. This was recently. Yeah, for fun or what? Uh, was the, well, no, for work. For okay. work. I was working for my cousin still, so he did a he did a general construction and then farming general construction, mm-hmm. and uh, he wanted to build his own house, so I worked for him. So I was like, I, yep. Mm-hmm. He sure. said it was, that's not easy to do. No, it was a lot, especially when he's like, hey, I'm not going to hire anybody else, and it's just going to be me and you. And I'm like, uh. I got my hammer. <laughs> yeah, I got, you too. Hey, I know how to nail. <laughs> how many, how many, I, I'm curious, though. Whenever I watch those like shows on TLC and stuff where they're building houses, not a lot of hammer and nails. It's a lot of screws and stuff like that. How much, how much did you use a hammer? Uh, quite a bit, but not to hammer huh. nails. No, to be said, you never you you hammer everything else but nails. Hammer wood mm. to move it a little bit over. Oh, it's a, a nudging tool. It's a, it's, a, it's more of a it's nudging. A what? To- a nudging. Well, because now now we have now we have like power tools. You got like you know a framing gun that literally mm. just shoots nails into a wall. So it, it shoots frames. It shoots frames. <laughs> that would be <laughs> so amazing. That's Fortnite shit, dude. <laughs> That's whatever the characters in Fortnite. I'd have to build all these extravagant things Bro, if, real quick. If we can make the technology that Fortnite, ha- Fortnite has, the building will be so much faster. I don't, I'll let eight year olds build my house. But I don't know. Do, 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 do. Can't they just fucking. Uh, I can't. I don't remember Fortnite too well. I haven't played it in like two years. <laughs> can they just shoot down your fort like this, though? I, I played You're Fortnite like the twice. Wrong people, yeah. yeah. I. I I know I, I said I play a lot of like games. I don't play those. Mm. I tried to play Fortnite one night, and then an eight year old cursed me out and made fun of me. And I was like, "Yo, okay, yo, uh, <laughs> these <good."> kids, <laughs> dude, they're brutal. These new <laughs> kids on the fucking block, bro, that are like now talking shit. Back when we were talking shit, yeah, Donnie Wahlberg. They, I, <laughs> Donnie Wahlberg. I okay. So you know what my old gamer tag for Xbox used to be? Um, big fat motherfucker. Nope, that's that's <laughs> you looking in the fucking m- m- fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> looking um, in the nice. fuck you. <laughs> so it used to be I love palabok, and to fill you in a little bit, palabok is a Filipino noodle that is uh, that should, originated from the Philippines. I should know this. My I have a Filipino stepdad. I'm almost Filipino. Oh my really. gosh. No, I've eaten a lot of Filipino food. Woof. Then you should probably you probably know it's a yellow noodle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> which I, that sounds offensive. Which is why you're probably <laughs> laughing. No, I just imagine someone peeing on noodles. <laughs> just imagine. Um, ah, yes. But that was my gamer tag. I love Palabok, and I played Call of Duty Four right when Call of Duty Four dropped, and I was <laughs> oh, playing that, and someone ow. was like, "I love Palabok." I heard that's German for dick. (laughs) And I got so defensive. I was like, no, it's a Filipino noodle. It's a yellow noodle, dude. And there was two of them. So it was two against one. And ever since then, I've turned my mic off now whenever I play (laughs) games like Call of Duty. Wait, wait, you turn your mic off, but you don't mute. Do you mute other people? Yeah, I do. I do. I for sure do. He doesn't respond. He just hears it. I am. I am. I am. I don't want them to hear me crying. (laughs) Dude, that's... I was playing the League of Legends for a while, and man, that game gets real they, toxic. Lol. Dude, they they get in on you. They're like, they start to like, I'm like, man, they're like talking shit about like your personal life. Like they know you. They start doxing you, bro. Dude, I'm like, wow. Like, how'd you know? Yeah. How'd you know that my mom doesn't love me, bro? You're, <laughs> You're like, what? <laughs> That's so rude. Well, I don't know if you've heard Alejandro leaves his mic on for Grant that thought of five, and apparently anyone in your vicinity, I don't know what the vicinity is, they could hear you talk. I don't do it anymore. I did it in the very beginning. Yeah. Oh, so now you don't have the confidence to have your mic on and no, just talk I, to Pastor I, I never, Rice? I never wear my headphones for almost anything. Okay. Um, but the one time, the, because the one time I did, 
you would have to like, man, I already talked about this shit. You have to <laughs> talk in a in the in the strip club. You could talk to the strippers, yeah, and make them like you more. And so I was doing that. I remember this. And then some dude was like, "Oh, we got a dirty motherfucker up in here," and I was like, "Ah." <laughs> I just you I get more social anxiety talking uh through video games than I do just talking in person. Oh, I love it. I love talking shit to people that I don't know. It's What's it? Really? Uh, well, it's uh, it's just, you know, the uh being anonymous. It's just so What's just an so example grace. of you shit talking? What's Jake? Oh, it's never good. It's never good. Let's hear it. You're uh, on the spot oh, now. God. Your hands are small. Yeah, yeah. You got really small feet, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone said that to me, I would laugh so hard. But then, then I come in with, you know what, what it means to have small feet, right? What does it mean? S- small socks. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you'd say? <laughs> no. So these are just jokes. No, <laughs> no. No, it, it'd be mainly just like, oh, yeah, I did your mom. <laughs> Why are you so angry about it? your mom? Because you're timid be, about it. You got to be aggressive to, you know, the eight year old kids that are talking shit to you. That's true. That's true. They come at you, bro. They come. And they teabag you after you. They... <laughs> Can you imagine getting teabagged in real life? The most disrespectful <laughs> thing that could if, possibly if happen. If someone actually teabagged me in real life, bro, I just would never go out in my house again. If you I got, felt a to, sack on my face, you yeah. have to do it when they pass out. <laughs> Then they would never feel it and ever know about Just it. Just take a picture. Unless someone, yes, unless someone took a and picture. Tag, that's that's an alpha move. Teabag somebody while they're knocked out and then tag them in it. Tag, tag your them on their tag. wedding day. <laughs> oh, wait, you, wow. That's. And then you the... take their wife. <laughs> I don't think it works like that. I don't think a, a bride would leave the groom. Uh, She's like, babe, I have to. Did you see the post? <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Apparently, you sucked so bad at Halo. <laughs> yeah. Well, if, if she's a gamer girl, you know, maybe. Those don't exist. Uh, do you guys want to do an improv scene? <laughs> they exist. Scene? Yes. Um, yes. We'll talk about. We'll, let's do an improv scene. <laughs> we'll t- we I just wanted to say that I got really lucky because Melissa's a gamer girl. Nice. Super. Super hot. <laughs> Shit. Super. <laughs> Super. <laughs> What? I, I don't know if you want to know what's I, happening. We have lost. We lost. So let's do an improv scene. That'll be fun. <clears throat> um, do you want anything, or you want to just jump in? No, let's get something from the ladies. Could one of you guys hand me a bag of chips? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Where are they? No, 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 no. Seriously, I'm, I don't want any more chips. No. Can we have a word or a, a thing, a non-geographical location? What could be found in your grandmother's cupboard? What's something that you wouldn't want on top of a birthday cake? How many feet are in a mile? <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me that last one. How many feet are in a mile? No, don't answer that <laughs> one of all the prompts. Don't answer that okay, one. Do you want to find on a birthday cake? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is taking longer than the improv scene. Dog would. treats. All right, guys. Our suggestion is dog treats. Rule: No one's playing the dog. I'm tired Aww. of talking about. I knew you were gonna probably be like, woof, woof. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd say shit for the improv scene. Yo, dude, that was my line. <laughs> that was what you were gonna say. <laughs> that was my line. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, give me a new suggestion. We're not using dog cat treats. <laughs> <laughs> Something on top of a birthday cake. No, how about okay? How about a this? Fucking scary fucking? ass ancient. Attic doll. <laughs> attic dolls. Agents, okay. Are they addicted to antique, something? They're attic. Antique attic doll. Okay, she said, get you an Asian. <laughs> get you an Asian. I don't think she said any of those words. <laughs> an Asian addict doll. <laughs> an Asian addict doll. Okay. I'm Riddled with opium addiction. <laughs> no, no, no. Ancient attic doll? Attic doll. Attic doll. We're, we're going to just go with doll. Doll. Oh, doll. We're going to go with doll. Thank you, Melissa. <laughs> We're going with doll. Asian doll. <laughs> antique. <laughs> antique. Antifa. 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 An Antifa doll. doll. Okay. An Antifa blue-haired <laughs> Asian doll. Oh, my God. With a pink ear. I'm so sorry, Jake. I'm Don't so be. sorry. This is, this, is pretty, this is pretty on par with us, too. So. Okay. okay, perfect. Antique attic doll. Okay. Okay, we're doing doll. We're doing doll. <laughs> We're doing doll. I'm running with Antifa Attic doll. I like it. Antifa doll. <laughs> um, um, Christina, Christina. Oh my god. I got you this present. Me and your uncle, uncle, uncle Buck. Hey. 
We got you this present. Can I say that I'm so happy that you guys are still together? I know that you guys have gone through your ups and downs. Tina, and do you really need to bring up our divorce in the middle of your birthday party? Yeah, we literally just we it's just signed like, the papers. We're here. So together. you guys aren't staying together? No, hell no. Have you seen her? <laughs> I've seen her. You I know, know I'm working on it. <laughs> she's she's working on it, Uncle Buck. Well, <laughs> not fast enough. Not fast enough. But we got you this doll to commemorate she our divorce. She hasn't opened it yet, Buck. <laughs> All right. Oh, well. Aunt, open this present. Aunt Tina, can I ask? It's so weird that you guys are divorcing and then giving me a gift. <laughs> This is our present. F- yeah, for we our bought divorce. this before the divorce. Oh, this is a divorce present. Yeah. No, well, I just. You see, she <laughs> said, "Yeah." I, I, that, Christina, just open the goddamn present. Don't do it. Don't do it. Shut up, Buck. <laughs> oh, it's oh my nagging. gosh, it's gonna complete my collection. See, I yep. told you she had more of these. Here. Madam That's- Alexander, circa 1986 porcelain before they transitioned into copper dolls i was looking for a goddamn beanie baby this is not a beanie baby buck <laughs> what the uncle hell buck, is you, it you respect him even though he disrespects me i'm sorry uncle buck <laughs> uncle buck i'm so sorry that's right when we first met i used to call him uncle fuck <laughs> that's right <laughs> uh, we transitioned to a 1970s dance floor <clears throat> yeah Oh, oh yeah! Oh, mm-hmm. sir, you are dancing way yeah. off beat. Oh yeah. my god, are you guys fucking <laughs> on the dance floor? Oh, oh. We, <laughs> he's! Oh my gosh! Excuse me, security! They're fucking on the dance floor. <laughs> That's Baby, what I call the me, 70s. Fuck. We're all fucking on the dance floor. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, cut back. To cut this. back to. I'm so sorry. I didn't. I forgot how that memory went. I was. I was hoping. I don't understand what happened. You guys just retold the story. Yeah, we, we were talking t- over each other quite a bit. It yeah, must have been just garbled nonsense. We shouldn't have. We should not have uh, told that story. Um, to a ten year old. Uncle Buck, Aunt Tifa. <laughs> Just call me Tifa, please. Just call me just Tifa. I didn't mean for it to come out that way. Um, um, yes, yes. I'm very appreciative of this gift, but it's the third one this month, and I don't understand what? why you guys are giving me gifts. Are you guys trying to make each other feel better by Wait, your divorce? Wait, is it not your? Is it not your birthday today? It's it's my it was my birthday three weeks ago, but consecutively for three weeks. Buck. Oh, I've been trying to win her over. Uh, so when we actually what? get a divorce, uh, she doesn't want to hang out with you. Oh, so, that's why I've been. I've actually been secretly signing all my letters. Just Uncle Buck, Antifa hates you. <laughs> so let me read one of the letters. Yeah, yeah. My child, there oh. are things that you don't know that you need to be real aware quick, real of. Quick. It's one of those Hallmark letters where you can previously record. <laughs> So when you open it, it just it just talks. So if you're wondering, yeah, I, I hired some. Uh, My child. Oh wait, 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 what? I, I hired a professional to do this one. Oh, the guy from Allstate. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's what it was. My child. <laughs> wait up! If you actually like keep opening and closing it, it doesn't start off from where you left off. So it could potentially just say "My child" over and over and over. Yeah, it's pretty sick. My child. My child. My child. My child. There you go. We'll continue with it. Oh, now it's not working. Oh, now it's not working. Oh, my child. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Oh, wait, there's a different version. Let my, me just switch it to the n- not asthmatic one. My child, there's so many things I need to tell you before I go and take out Aunt Tifa. Wait, 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 wait. Uncle Buck, you're dying? Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. Uh, I- I'm going to die tomorrow, so. You know when? <laughs> well, the doctors told me last uh, year. That I had a year to live, and that was one week ago th- to a year. So, <laughs> so you've already gone past Wait, wait, wait. wait. You've, you've surpassed <laughs> your death date. We give him the present. Uh, yeah, give me the doll. Okay. You want the doll? <laughs> no, I don't. It's for you to win you <laughs> over for after I die. <laughs> so we can hang out with you after you die? You will visit my grave more than Antifa's. <laughs> well, I'm not dying, am I? I don't think I was diagnosed with a death disease. Call the hit off. 
<laughs> Whoa, that red dot on my forehead just disappeared. <laughs> Cut to the three hitmen <laughs> at the building. I got it. <laughs> no, I got it. No, I got it. No, I... Hang on a second. My phone's ringing. Hello? Yes, boss? Sorry, guys. The hit's called off. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Yes, we're waiting, Hitman uh, number two. Uh, well, I thought it was number three. I No, I'm three. I'm two. I, you're, you're one. Uh, uh, am I one or are you two? The one? No, I'm three. <laughs> Who is the real three? No. Oh. Cut back to the other two. Did you guys hear three gunshots? <laughs> it was weird. There was three dots on your forehead. That well, was crazy. Man, that Wasted was nice. money. <laughs> what? What? Oh, uh... You like that doll more than your aunt? I love it. What is this? What is, what is this? Scene. Is this a game Scene. show? <laughs> Welcome to the game show. Oh my god, that was incredible. Apparently oh. I was trying to hit off my ex-wife. <laughs> hit off. Hit off, hit yeah, that was off. a right, yeah, take a hit on? Oh my god. No, gosh. no, you were trying to hit her off. Yeah. I'm trying to see the sitcom starring the three hitmen. <laughs> that, three hit, hitmen and uh, a baby? <laughs> Oh shit! Honestly, three hitmen and a baby would be a really good show. Interesting plot. Interesting plot that that would have. One's like a Russian. One is like a failed suicide bomber, and then the other one is like, failed. Yeah, because he didn't so, get the bomb off. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cut Obviously. to that. Cut to that. <laughs> oh, what are you? Wait, what are you doing, dude? Are you buzzing in for a game show? Oh, I did not know that this was not work. I thought this oh, was work. and he's Russian. <laughs> Interesting. I thought the other guy I thought was Russian. Middle Eastern, but whatever. It was more of a Scandinavian oh, accent. Oh, shit. Oh, hinga vinga dervin. <laughs> oh, man. Jake, that was that was phenomenal yes ending on your part. Thank you. Thank you. The rule of three in comedy in general is where I... That's why I busted up like crazy. It's just like... I got it. And then you said you got it. And then you tagged along saying, no, I got it. Perfect. Thank you. Perfect. I love I love when we finish improv scenes and then break down what makes them funny. <laughs> it makes it even funnier, you know? That's, yeah. how, that's how you do any joke. You say the joke and then immediately break down why it's funny. <laughs> that's, that's my problem with uh, open mics because I just say the joke and then people don't laugh. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm all, not going to explain them. <laughs> on our way to the open mic that we went to... Uh, Last week, he was telling me this premise that had to do with the bird, <laughs> and it was like, <laughs> what? it was. I need more deets. What's the? I do. I don't think. I don't want you to have to tell your joke here. But like the. Thank you for letting me save it for all those great <laughs> audience members. But it was really funny in the car, and when we got on stage, both of our jokes, since it was such a weird set, just did not. It was just. There was only two people in the audience. You know what? There's things funnier in your head. <laughs> uh, everything I say, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Get it? Oh, man. <laughs> that was really fun. It was. Yeah. Thank you guys for that suggestion, doll. Uh, Is that what you call <laughs> Melissa? <laughs> thanks, thanks, doll. Thanks Appreciate for that it. suggestion, doll. Dolling. Dolling. <laughs> yeah. Um, dude, this has been really fun. And we can't hit ha wait to have you back for the next one. We like can't we have said, any more fun. We can't. You're not allowed to. We can't have any more fun. We're cutting it here. If I listen to another podcast of your guys's, like another episode, and you guys have more fun than this episode, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you gonna do? Well, don't listen to any other episodes. Yeah, don't oh, oh, give us the downloads, God. man. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let them leave me. No, no. Hey, you know what? We'll leave him hanging. Yeah. Dude, make some noise when you want to high five. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever seen ones? Okay, realistically, when's the last time you guys either a saw someone try to wave at someone and not get a wave back, or b what just happened right there? Um, see, I'm on the I'm the I'm on the Christian side of the uh, high five knuckle. I us I like to be the awkward person that when they go high fives, you knuckle them. Oh, or do something paper beats rock. Yeah, or just anything stupid. What? Or or dolphin them. Uh, what's the dolphin? It's when you get on your knees and blow up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that always tricks people up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have a dick. <laughs> That's why you carry one on you all the time. <laughs> okay. Um, I see it all the time because I work in customer service and people walk away without saying goodbye all the time. And you say oh. bye? Yeah, almost every day. You say like, yeah, have a nice day. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> I love you. I want to sit on your face. 
Oh, interesting. What? You want to sit on a face. Yeah, yeah, teach them a lesson. Oh, guys sit on faces. <laughs> that is weird. Yeah. That would be an interesting turn of events. Write that down, Karen. <laughs> I'm usually the guy that when I'm leaving, I try to say bye to the people that served me. Yeah. Say, Thank you. It was really good. And then they don't hear me sometimes. The, wor- the worst portion of it is when you say, have a good meal or have a good flight. And you walk away and you're like, fuck, that guy's never going to have it. He's not, he's <laughs> he's, not flying today. He's so poor. <laughs> he's so poor. He'll right. never afford a jet When you blue. say you too, yeah. at like a movie theater or like, yeah, when you, th- you feel so dumb when you walk away, you're like, oh, fuck. They're working. They're not going to... And Sometimes I laugh at myself even more because I'm like, I'm acting like they're never going to see a movie. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're good. Hopefully they do. They Eventually work at a movie theater. <laughs> yeah, I would, assu- I would assume they at least like to see some kind of movie. So, yeah, enjoy your movie too. Yeah. Later, whenever you get to see a movie, yep. if you see one. Those... <laughs> it's so I'm awkward. blind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why is it those, those quick interactions are so... Satisfying. Difficult. Oh. I like interactions with strangers. I've talked about this in the past because it's so quick and clean. You just walk away, and that's the end of it. I think that airport strangers are the best strangers. Oh, Expand I on that, so please. So many good friends at airports. Dude, yes. I when I went to Chicago last year, O'Hare. Sure. Mm-hmm. You go to O'Hare. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I I had a five hour layover in Vegas, and I not only got Whoa. really drunk, Whoa. but I met a lot of interesting characters. I met someone coming from New York to do to produce some music. I don't know what kind because I stopped listening halfway through because he said music and I was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't want to support local music artists. He's not local. He's from New York. Okay, yeah, you're right. Okay, and yeah. it was Latvian folk music. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then there was a guy from Georgia State and then there was like a crackhead. Um, all at an airport. All at an airport. I mean, they, they yes, that's Vegas. Kids. That's especially in Vegas. It was it was a blast. So I just sat at a bar, right at my hangar because they have bars right in the hangars at you, Vegas. What blows my mind about the Vegas airports is that they have slot machines. Yeah, at, as, soon at the as, off, as soon as you get off, they want your money. Yeah, I didn't. I I, didn't, I was like, I refuse to play on them because I felt like those ones are probably more rigged. No, those ones are actually really loose. Because they, they want you to, really? as soon as you get there, or right as you leave, they want you to win. So you either come back right away, oh. or you start your vacation off I on a high. Up. You know this from experience? You've mm. won from those? I did no, hear, I did kind of hear some people hitting some, not like jackpots, but I definitely heard some people like hitting. Mm, you put, you put a couple, couple buckaroos in there, you might get a single buckaroo back. I'm not a big gambler. <laughs> I go with 20 bucks to a casino, and I'm like, if I spend this, it, that's it. That's you, just for your drinking, or what? You're healthy. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, on uh, certain things. <laughs> not gambling, yes. Other things, no. Uh... <laughs> Prostitution? Well, you know, some, I got to make money somehow, okay? <laughs> oh, very nice. Uh, oh. No, but like it's, I do go for the drinks mainly. My friend went and played a lot of gigs at a, as a musician at Red Hawk. Mm-hmm. And so I'd go go and try to support him a little bit and go and hang out. But I was like, oh, man, I'm, I'm kind of, I didn't have a great job at the time. So I didn't have a lot of money. So I was like, oh, I have 20 bucks. But if I just sit here and pretend to play for like, how long is your gig? Five hours? <sighs> Fucking for like five hours or something like that? <laughs> yeah. And like just every time I see the uh, the beer maids walking by, I'm like, hey, um, yeah, drink, uh, it, drink. You should just know me by now. Just, just at that point, keep them coming. Water them down. I don't care. I'm going to drink enough of them. If they know you're spending money at like either the slots or tables, yeah, you'll get the drinks for free as long as you like tip a dollar. Every, every, uh, every drink, right? No, no, because they did that with me. I was playing craps in. Oh, my they last... got you good. dude. <laughs> they know how to work. No, because I I didn't tip, and she never came back to me. Oh, that's when you just kind of you kind of gotta like spot him out and just walk over to him. Oh, and say, but don't chase give him, me though. a drink. Don't hey, chase. Hey, yeah, don't, hey, miss. don't run at him. But like I I would run interception. You know, like I'd see them walking by my own. Like, hey, I'm. It was kind of weird. The well, first like few it was times. like a, a happenstance. Well, it was a purposeful happenstance because I 100 percent walked <laughs> oh, in front. Sorry, of, do you work here? Oh Can I gosh. get a beer? <laughs> yeah, like as they have like alcohol, like they're walking around with like the mixed Thank drink. Thank you. I've been looking for that. Yeah, Thank thanks. You. Awesome. And just go back to my table and yeah. You get drunk pretty fast. Um, <laughs> sorry, the way I phrase questions, I know it sounds. I'm not trying to take advantage of you or anything. I'm just. <laughs> well, if I get drunk fast, you might. <laughs> so I don't know how to answer this question. No, not usually. If I like don't eat all day for whatever reason, because there has been there, there has been those days where I'm just like no, I don't feel hungry. I guess mm-hmm. no no reason to it. I'm just like ah, it's five a or five p.m. I haven't had food. Yeah. Really, I'm just yeah. hungry at all times, especially that little one over there. She could put down a buffet. Yeah, I say, well, I say that, and then I <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> Solid boyfriending over there. <laughs> she, she goes, I was like, I I wasn't gonna get fries, <laughs> but I did. I still want to go to Golden Corral. I've never been to one. 
You haven't been to a, they're, it's not I've bad. never either. They have a cheese fountain, right? It's not bad. Huh? It's not the worst buffet. Is it better than like the hometown buffet, the Chinese ones that used to be all over the place? <laughs> what, uh, it depends. Like, f- let's go. Flavor- let's go to Golden Crown, bro. Sure, sure. Wise, no, flavor wise, those like hole in the wall buffets mm. are way better. If you're talking about like sanitation, buffets. probably a lot better. Golden Crown is probably a lot better with that. Yeah, because yeah. they they actually do rotate their trays quite often. Good, because there's some like old ass. I've seen some old ass trays at some buffets, man. Dude, the Buffet. like. Uh, Buffets, yeah, buffets. <laughs> pizza, like the Pizza Hut, or is it Pizza Hut, or is it Mountain Mike's? Mountain, Mountain Mike's. Mike's, yeah, they're buffets. I, I swear, I've gone there and like the, I've. I don't know why I was like so attentive to this piece of bell pepper, but I was like that same bell pepper was there yesterday. <laughs> oh, you were like, I know, <laughs> I know that, that I know bell that, pepper, hey, bro. I know that shape and size, bro. Hey, Jim. <laughs> I like the dessert pizza from <laughs> Mike's. Dude, it, it's not bad. It's actually really good. There? They used to do like a cinnamon roll pizza that was yeah, really good. They still what? do. They 100% still do for the buffet. It's it's legit. I haven't been to a buffet in a long time. I was afraid COVID would kill them. Um, Some still they exist. They definitely, they, they, they weren't like around during COVID. Of course. Yeah. But like, I think, they're, I think they're starting to hit their stride again. We need to get to that Golden Corral, bro. I'm down. Are, are they doing a buffet though? Yeah. They are? They're not doing a sit down dinner at Golden Corral. No, uh, because for I think for a bit they're doing to go orders during COVID. And See, I that's crazy because that. Sacramento 100% still doing like, well, now now they are doing sit down. I went to a buffet, not too, like a Korean, I guess a Korean barbecue isn't like a buffet. No, because the, the, the meats that you're getting are yeah, it's, too it's you. coming. Yeah, you're not having people like spit on it. But it's just, yeah. Or it's, sneeze around it, breathe on it. I just don't trust some people because, like, if they're serving themselves, like, I don't... I've, I've seen myself serve food, and I was like, um, mm, I grabbed that with my hand. We were at Whole Foods today, and you know how they have that, like, open... Lunch stuff? Yeah, yeah. like, in the trays and shit. They provided a hand sanitizer and gloves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So as long as someone doesn't cough on the fucking food, just put the gloves on and just, <laughs> <laughs> just actually manhandle. some macaroni, some pasta. It's sanitary, right? It is still sanitary. Yeah. As long I, as, you're, as you're not, as long as you're not like putting your same hand, like it and then putting. Yeah, because that gets a little bit. Also, don't don't mix. I hate mm. when people do that. I hate if you have a spoon in a certain like sauce and then you put it into a different sauce. Then, oh, bro, that that irks me. You're the type of dude that goes to a barbecue. And Whoa. when you put your foods on the plate, they're not touching, huh? No, they're touching, but they, they, have, <laughs> they have their place. They know where they're they supposed, know where they're to, supposed yeah, to be. They know this because I've gone to a hometown buffet. Before. I don't. They don't. Inter- they don't like. It's not like I put my beef down. I put my beef on top of my noodles. Like hell no. I've no, my beef and my noodles that. have a place and yeah. they go somewhere. I, 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 I can go back for seconds. I keep my stuff separated. Yeah. I like segregation in no, my No, that's place. good. <laughs> hey, hey. Um, of food. Yeah, of food. Plate, plate of segregation. Food. Yeah. I don't want my mashed potatoes fraternizing with my peas, okay? I need them to be separate. Now, see, I do two I, things that probably should. Could I do mix you. those, though. I'll mix them on the fork. I decide when you get mixed. I'm going to get a little bit of meatloaf and a little bit of mashed potatoes mm. and a little bit of the peas uh-huh. and have a full party in my mouth. <laughs> you are not going to decide for me, Mr. P. No, <laughs> I was the type of person that had a full-on orgy on my plate. Just, like, do layers? <laughs> Dude, it was. No. So, I was trying to say, like. How are you going to differentiate the flavors? I the figured flavors it out. are all. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Savage. I did a when I went to hometown buffet like over ten years ago. Uh. I put like I started off with a slice of pizza. <laughs> no, first like all, you right be, in the middle. I was gonna say first of all, you should be ending with a slice of pizza. Yeah, on the on top. The top. No, it was on the bottom. That's the worst. And then like it's gonna soak up like, all the flavors. You noodles know, of some pizza. sort, pasta. Uh, I don't know. They're 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 Tacos, hot wings. Yeah, just messy stuff. And the pizza, much like a cast iron, <laughs> just <laughs> absorbed the flavors of everything I put on it. Yeah. Do you know you can go back for seconds, right? Yeah. yeah. You're not limited to, he was limited to one plate, though. <laughs> but look at this amount of effort that you have to do if you have to you go for seconds. You could have used the exercise. Yes. <laughs> at the time. At the time. Yeah. But, like, imagine you're already the- in the zone. You're already chowing down. What Who are you wants talking to be like, about? All right. I'm going to get another plane. <laughs> Me? What are you? Yes. What it's, the it's fuck like are the, you it's arguing? It's 10 here? feet away. No. It's yeah. not even that. Do you sit? Do, do you, you s- fall asleep mid-meal? <laughs> this is me back then. This is me back then. Okay. Fair. Me now, I'll get up for <laughs> thirds and fourths. Would you rather go to a Golden Corral or go to the Sizzler? 
I've never been to. Oh, no. Sizzler's, Sizzler's the best. I've only been once. I've only been once. Oh my it god, the bad. salad bar you're gonna get meatball tacos. What's your verdict of your one time visit to the it Sizzler? Good. It was way better than Outback. Okay. Oh fuck yeah! Listen to his voice though. He said it was good. It had an. Up, well, I mean, it's it's a chain it. restaurant. That's like saying <laughs> Chili's yeah, yeah, yeah. is the best Mexican food. Like, it's not. All right, it's, does Chili's even do Mexican? Real quick, I'm. You're thinking of Chevy's. Chevy's is wait, which Chili's? Chili's is the one that does like burg. I guess they do nachos. I don't know. They Chili's do- is the one where you get the free Chili's, the free Chevy's, sombrero. No, that's Chevy's. See, oh, that's Chili's, Chevy's, <laughs> Applebee's. They all have the same food. Real quick, okay. So before we do on this episode, what are we talking about? <laughs> no, this is important. I'm in, I'm in the pocket. I'm in the pocket. I'm in the pocket. Let's. Let's put this. Let's have a tournament of all the chain restaurants. All of Garden wins. All Olive right. Garden. Olive Garden does not no. win. No? no, no. If you if you say Applebee's, I'm gonna. F- I will. The literally- menu is so limited factory. at Olive Garden. The cheesecake factory. Ooh, they they have unlimited the cheesecake oh, factory. Fuck that. They do have. That's not fair though. They have everything. That's damn right. They what do. What do you have to say, Miss Lady? No, I mean just like okay. So who's the first? Who's the first two, and yeah, then we'll what's go the bracket? From there. Yeah, you guys, well, we okay, do bracket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, we need to start writing this down. Hang yeah, on a second. Let's, Cause, we're cause writing this down. No, this a, is actually like a, a bracket thing on Google. We're gonna have to have an extra episode. <laughs> <laughs> this is the <laughs> restaurant episode. <laughs> this is the twenty-minute <laughs> rest chain first uh, restaurant chain uh, bracket. All right, Who wins? Here we go. Yes, <laughs> yeah, we're was, gonna figure that out. That's the title. <laughs> it's it's gonna be a lot of like. So first, you said Olive Garden or Applebee's. Olive Garden, Applebee's. I swear to God, if you guys say Applebee's, I no, will no, no, fight. Because no. Applebee's is the only, the only time you go there is when you're shit faced at 2 a.m. How hang about on, this? Hang on, hang on. Before we go any further, how many Denny's. restaurants are we putting in this? Uh, we got to put eight. Eight. Yeah, I say eight's fine. Eight's eight. fine. Eight. Yeah, let's do we eight. Don't eight want, Twelve. Yeah, I say you got to do Applebee's. Fuck Chili's. We'll go Chevy's. Okay. Because they're the, kind of the same. Yeah. Olive Garden. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. I, I gotta start typing this shit in. Hang on. There's a lot of Red stuff lobster. going on right now. Red like a, Lobster. <laughs> Red Lobster, bro. They're what happened to their buns, bro? They used to be the so cheddar buns. Cheddar, buns cheddar Bay biscuits. Sh- cheddar cheddar Bay biscuits were so good, but now are they're they not garbage. anymore? I went there like five years ago and I ate it, and I was like, either I, I was just fat, food. and it was I I just didn't care about what food tasted like. And or, then you went there recently? Well, like it's five years recent. Okay, no, okay. I was wondering if uh, no, no, no. Because I go to I go to the one in Vallejo. That's the one I've only one I've pretty much ever. ever yeah, been that's the only one I've ever gone to. Yeah, too. I would go watch movies and go to Red Lobster. That was my ritual. Oh, that's a solid itinerary. <laughs> yeah, it was that or Olive Garden because uh, especially when I was out of high school, you know, you get uh, unlimited soup and bread. And let me tell you guys, it's not fucking unlimited. They do put a limit on you. What's the limit? Like three hours. <laughs> oh, how long are you there for? What are you doing three hours in a? I didn't. I I was just lit and i was like you know there's a lot of soup to be had okay so i got what? olive garden applebee's cheesecake factory sizzler red lobster chevy's chevy's um chevy's chevy chevy chase chevy chase chevy chili's like sh right um, what else we got <laughs> chevy's like I say, Chevy. Right? I got lobster. Chevy's. I got the lobster. That's what I'm um, saying. Do we say Outback? I'm not. I Outback mean, is Outback. Outback's a has been. That's yeah. That's, it's not good. Um, BJ's. BJ's. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, everyone loves a good B. BJ. Yeah, mm-hmm. if we're putting BJ's in there, that might because they got good beer too. That's not even they, fair. Yeah. Okay. That's another factor. You got okay. alcohol. These are like low end. Like yeah, we need like BJ's. BJ's tier. is still kind of like a high brow for if we're putting BJ's against Olive Garden, like. And Applebee's. Yeah. Well, uh, let's okay. Let's mix it up then. Bar. What else we got? Pasta Pomodoro. <laughs> what the I, I, no, I've never no. been there. I was Mod just making... pizza. <laughs> Mod pizza. Do we put Mountain Mike's on there? Ma- uh, no, that's not a chain pizza. restaurant. Do we put Golden Corral on there? Denny's. No. Denny's. Denny's. No, that's a good one. That's okay, a good one. Sure. Denny's, Denny's is IHOP. solid. And Denny's IHOP. and IHOP. Those yeah. are solid. Yeah, I like that. Okay. What do we got? Okay, come on. What's our number at? Okay, I think we're at. One, two, three. 16. <laughs> like 25 <laughs> restaurants. Start the brackets now. <laughs> All right, we got one, two. Okay, so first we have the first round. This is to get into the original final four IHOP versus Red Lobster and Sizzler versus Chili's. So uh, IHOP, Red Lobster. Uh, I'm saying Red Lobster. Red Lobster. Just the biscuits alone can Over beat IHOP. Sure. I ordered yeah. a steak at IHOP before, and it was cold. <laughs> See, here's the thing, dude. You, Why'd you why order a steak at IHOP? Yeah. <laughs> why would you order steak, steak at IHOP? I wanted steak and eggs. No. See, no, no. that's I, I did that at Denny's. And they're actually not bad at Denny's. The steak and eggs? Good, they yeah. actually do. Yeah. The, the microwaves work at Denny's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the second one is Sizzler versus Chili's. 
I want to say Chili's because I haven't been to Sizzler that much, but I know Sizzler actually has a bomb ass meat. Kills it. Is it singular Sizzler? Sizzlers. No, Sizzler. Sizzlers. Sizzlers. It's it's multiple. There are multiple Sizzlers. Sizz multiple. Going on. Okay. Multiple Sizzlers. Sizzlers. <laughs> I'll go. What do we? Ch oh, ch Chili's. Oh, oh Chili's. Fuck. Chili's is a You've good stand up. Like there. after work. Yeah. Go to no Chili's, either. get a beer. It is a, it is a nice place. Yeah, I definitely after work. I go there with the boys. If it, it, it put it this way, I've gone to Chili's way more than I've gone to Sizzlers. Okay, I think Chili's say wins Chili's then. then. Okay. Are you? Did what, you have a say? Yeah. What, what do you? What, what do you think? Sizzler. You, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Let's Melissa? deck it out. I already said Sizzler. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's three to two. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's, uh, that's, okay. that's, that's fair. That's fair. That's Here fair. we go, guys. Now in the final four, Chevys versus Red Lobster. Chevys. 100%. I say Chevy's. Chevy's. Yeah, over Red yeah, Lobster. I think long term. I have, uh, yeah. I, I give, margaritas. Yeah. Oh my Chevy's. God. Okay. Yeah. Have you had cantaloupe like margarita? Ooh, that Frozen sounds margarita. good. So it's cantaloupe oh. margarita? Yeah, cantaloupe margarita. <gasps> That oh sounds. I want to get some Chevys after this now. Yeah, they're not far. Not bad. It's not. It's, it's right not. There. It's next to my mom's house. I'll go over there right after. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Cheesecake Factory versus. Olive Garden. Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake. You guys are going to break Cheesecake. my heart, dude. I wanna, I, I'm going to say Olive Garden because there's so many. You got to them. That's fair. Cheesecake Factory is 100% better, but like, you have I like have, I have memories of being alone and people staring at me in Olive Garden while I ate there for three hours. It's an association thing. You're the only one. <laughs> I'm the only one there, man. Uh, okay, so we got BJ's versus... Chilies, mm, BJ's. BJ's. BJ's, BJ's, yeah, Everyone good loves. beer avocado selection. Wraps. <laughs> so good, good solid. BJ's. I love the BJ's. Uh, BJ's. BJ's avocado wraps are the exact same ones from Cheesecake Factory. I like really? the uh, ahi no tuna bowls too. The what? The uh, the seared ahi tuna bowl. Have you mm, that there? That's solid. Uh -huh. I've had that before. <laughs> uh, and the bazookies. <laughs> Bazooka. You cannot go wrong with a bazooki. I 100 percent go there every birthday because they give me a free bazooki. Really? I go there once on my birthday. Every uh, <laughs> Denny's and Applebee's. Applebee's. Denny's. Applebee's. Applebee's. Denny's. Two for twenty or twenty five. Applebee's. Applebee's. I've had bad experiences really? at okay. Denny's. 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 So I weird. have good memories of Denny's. You look traumatized, yeah. Christian. What? You look traumatized when you said that. Well, he, got raped, he got raped in a Denny's. <laughs> this is my impression of every single Denny's worker. What do they do at Applebee's? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, did you you just described Applebee's? How are you guys doing? No, sorry, no, Bitch. no, no. <laughs> How are you guys doing? They, they're they're like, hey, can you? They got my the one in Vallejo got my milkshake order wrong three times. There's only three flavors. <laughs> <laughs> they got it. Here's your vanilla milkshake. I want a chocolate. Oh, sorry. Here's, Here's your, your strawberry milkshake. No, I want a chocolate. Oh, sorry. Here's your vanilla milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> I shit you not. My stepbrother was having a field day. I just want, I literally, all I wanted was chocolate milkshakes. You got it right. <laughs> and they brought me every flavor but that. I'm like, guys, you. I'm keeping these, but I still want a chocolate milkshake. <laughs> yes, I'm like, you... This was at an Applebee's? This was at the Vallejo that Applebee's. Applebee's. That was at that Applebee's, There was man. a dude. That's where my brother met his wife. <laughs> there you go. So that there deserves to win. was a dude that, who he didn't say Chipotle, he said... Chipotle <laughs> every time and we would go there Does weeks <laughs> consecutively all right welcome to Chipotle hey do you guys want the Chipotle wings again yeah do you think it's a port I don't know his dad was a navy man I don't know he's like everything's a port all right here we go last last two rounds or actually yeah two and then we're done Chevy's versus Cheesecake Factory Chevy's. cheesecake Cheesecake. cheesecake. Yeah, cheesecake. I'm going to go with cheesecake. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Karen. Cheesecake no, is in the finals. They got great pasta. And we got mm. BJ's versus Applebee's. BJ's. 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 I'm going to vote for Applebee's just because I don't want them to feel left out. Okay. Mm -hmm. But the uh, final match here, ladies and gentlemen, Cheesecake Factory versus BJ's. That's a good one. That's a good matchup. I'm going to go with, it depends on your feel, BJ's, right? BJ's, because Cheesecake Factory has too big of a menu and it's too overwhelming. BJ's has a like giant it. menu. Yeah, they have, yeah, it's pretty consistent. Yeah. I, cheesecake's, cheesecake is... I'm going to go with cheesecake. 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 They have better pasta options. Y'all are just saying options. that because Alex worked there forever. No, I, I bear, I, this no. is the first time I've ever Nobody met Alex. Nobody knew that, yeah. Huh? Regardless, well, I wouldn't do that. They have, they have great pasta, though. Ooh. Cheesecake Factory does have really the good pasta. The portions stuff. at Cheesecake. Family style. And I'm a portion. I'm a portion mouth. Yeah, don't give me I that fancy. I thought you liked Mercedes Benz. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. I'll give you. Where? I will give you that, sir. I only need one. I'll give you that. Steve. <laughs> 
No, you need like three, right? Yeah. Going home. Three, three levels of validation. <laughs> okay, so we well, cheesecake won this cheesecake entire thing. One, yeah. I think cheesecake won. Congratulations, okay. guys. Here's to you. That is sponsor this podcast, please. And uh, you know, yeah, give us, give us some money. Well, Jake, that was uh, an interesting. We've never done a bracket on this uh, podcast. Well, you're welcome. Because it needed, it needed <laughs> <laughs> the most confident answer. Uh, well, here's the thing: it needed to be done. You guys needed more brackets. We got big it's dick Jake I, over here, man. More brackets. <laughs> the first time I listened to this podcast, I was like, you know what they're missing? Brackets. brackets. Yo, these guys talk about bad movies and they do improv all the time, but, but they don't have any brackets. No brackets. Do you guys have any movie brackets? Ooh. Hey, how about you let us do our show? You stick to fucking Dungeons <laughs> stick and to Dragons. Stick to D&D, yeah, man. All right, stay in your lane, bro. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm coming okay. after you. I'm just saying. But write that down, okay? <laughs> Next week, we're releasing a movie podcast <laughs> called It Can Be That Bad. <laughs> it is that bad. It uh, most certainly is. <laughs> Well, wow, that was really sad. <laughs> <laughs> that was really sad. I was just trying to think of a way to wrap this up. And, uh, um, we can why. we can do our pluggy pluggies. Yeah, well, let's plug the podcast. Let's plug your podcast and Whoa. everything. Your podcast is called the Joe Rogan Experience. Yeah, if you would follow me on, I'm Joe Rogan. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, you look different. Yeah, I lost a lot of weight and also got a little uglier. The camera adds but ten pounds. <laughs> loses. <I'm, laughs> do you see this? <laughs> I'm hundred percent bone. <laughs> they call me Bone Rogan. Ooh. That's for a different reason. <laughs> yeah. Wait, the the wait. The Zoom. The when I edit this later, <laughs> note to self. <laughs> no, just so. Zoom in on that wink. Yeah, zoom in tight. Um, Ooh, look at this guy. I'm getting. I'm getting more confident as the podcast ends. <laughs> oh, an hour say. and forty minutes in. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, I, I was like, this is a long, long. one. It's a long one, but it's fun. We're having a good well, time. Welcome to recording any podcast with me. It goes way over any expectation, well, but not like fun level. <laughs> it stays mediocre for that. It's just, just, a, just, just, just a time, time. level. Yeah, yeah, just a time level. All right. So you could obviously follow us at Christian has asthma and call underscore me Jesus. And you can follow the podcast at ICBTB podcast. Are you upset that I'm like, no. Okay. Yeah, he found out how long it was. He's like, we got to get through this. Oh my God. Um, the last two minutes. It's but, past my bedtime. Jake. Please plug your podcast. Yeah, you can find us on New Chris on the Block anywhere. Uh, and then you can find us on any podcast, a uh, podcatcher at New Chris on the Block. And that's about it. That's all the stuff. Nice. Fantastic. And then real quick before we go, we're, uh, we're I, I always like to ask our guests if you could just leave the baddies with one piece of advice. It could be a word. It could be an yeah, anecdote. Coming. It could be just a simple sentence. A single word. But look into the camera. and Look uh, into the camera. A single word? Anything. No, it doesn't <laughs> have to be. <laughs> uh, enjoy the small things. Wow. Enjoy the small things. That's what Karen, I've been trying. listen to that. I've been trying my best with that, and it, it's actually really fucking hard. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Enjoy, enjoy the, the small things. things. Yeah. All right. Y'all heard it here. Jake, thanks for joining us. It's an honor. Deeply appreciate you. Listen to his podcast. And play D and D. Yes. Check us out on Thursday. We watch the Babadook. Friday. Friday. Oh, Friday! <laughs> Damn it! Damn. We watch the Babadook. 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 I'm excited for that one. Babadook. All right, Jake. Thanks again. Peace, y'all. Ladies, thank you. Bye. Honey, come crisp. <laughs>